All right. <laughs> that was weird. I forgot to uh, exit out of the B-Right backstage there. <laughs> it's like, let's go. Be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I, you should have seen the face, like the look on my face when I saw that. I was like, "What the hell?" Be right back. <laughs> no, actually, I have a, uh, I have a thing now because like we're gonna start connecting live streams. Um, to where we uh, look right, Blunt CD, look right below you, and it'll literally tell you when we started the stream. Um, let's see here. So I have this thing right here, like whenever we take like a break, you know. I have that that I just started doing because like we're gonna start connecting PE lives with gameplay sessions, so uh, I have th I had that set and I forgot to exit out of it, so that's that's what happened there. Uh, either way, and I also forgot to change some of these things here. It's so funny because I I actually I actually uh, set up the stream pretty early, and then I forgot to do some of the core stuff that I always do, which is like check the stream stats and all that stuff like that. So I forgot to uh, swap out all this. So we'll do that right now. All right, so what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another PE Live. Today, we got a good show for you guys. When we talk about Fire Emblem Three Houses... Oh, I got to update this, too. We lost a couple new members. So let's go ahead and update that as well. 159. All right. Um, all right, so, uh, guys, let me let me tell you guys something real quick. Let's, let's start it out with Ninja News, right? Guys, in the title of the video is exactly what we're going to be talking about. So if you see Fire Emblem Three Houses... Geralt, that's what we're talking about. It, it 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 says it right there. If you see Fire Emblem Three Houses in the title, or if you see Bayonetta, we're just talking about any type of news, or we're just talking about, or we could just be talking about a discussion on the game. I think people still don't understand what PE Live is about. PE Live is talking to you guys about things. It's getting your opinions on things, or talking, or hyping, or whatever the case is. It's literally a fan-made show, like a show that's based for what you guys want to talk about in here. Like, when it comes to topics, like you guys saying, well, this is what I like, or I don't like this. This is literally what this show is about. And I don't know how else I need to convey that to you guys outside of me doing a daily show every time where I say I put Q and A's in there. I always tell you guys, come ask your questions. I don't know what else I can do to get this because every single time we stream, we have somebody saying, what's this, what's, what, what, what's there gonna be like, and, and like people don't understand. And I don't know what to say or what to do in order to make it more clear for you guys. Cause that question gets asked like a lot, even from people who visit the stream regularly. So. If there's any, I mean, maybe Sean or maybe if you guys can let me know on the community page, if there's any way that I can title these better for you guys or communicate what PE Live is about better, please let me know because I'm actually, I'm like, nobody should be coming and say, what are we talking about? What there's news on this? Like, like, you know, that's, that shouldn't be a thing at this point, considering I do this every single day. Like, I pretty much do PE Live every single day. So um, whatever I can do to make this easier for you guys to convey what this is about, please let me know. I've literally tried everything, you know, like, so let me know so we don't get that anymore where everybody knows, okay, yo, this is PE Live, we're here to talk about this piece of news or just talk about the game in general, you know, whereas, like, if you see, like, edited videos on the channel, like Switch News, then you know that there's some type of new information, you know, it's different from a live stream, so, uh, so anyway, uh, either way, yeah, we did, I mean, which happens, we did lose a couple new members, but sometimes people just forgot to renew, so, I mean, like, maybe they'll renew, maybe they won't, that's okay. That's okay. We'll get we'll get them back. We we're at 161. I think we peaked at like 162. We're trying to get to 165. Trying to get to 165, um, and then 175 for a new emote. I'm work still working on the sexy jutsu emote. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be because I'm doing it myself. So a lot harder than I thought it'd be. It looks kind of crap right now. So I'm still working on that sexy jutsu emote, which will be live at some point as soon as I get it done. Labo video as well. Working on that video too. So um, shout out to Romania by the way. Um, so, uh, so yeah, working on that Labo video, I already did the, you guys can actually, or actually you can't see it, but I have the Nintendo Labo like right over there behind me. Um, so that Labo video working on that should be done. Um, it might be done this week, I'll be honest, or it might be done next week. To, I mean, there's just been so much stuff this week with the whole Sega news and all that stuff. So, so yeah, anyway, uh, that's the Ninja news for this week. Uh, we had a Sega video in terms of what Sega needs to do to make sure that like they follow through like their renewed focus, like they need to be serious about this. So we had a video on that. So if you're interested in, um, in in that video, that's already up on the channel. So you guys can check that out whenever you get the opportunity. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it for Ninja News. Uh, we also had a video on Bayonetta 3 and also Bayonetta or Platinum Games as well. So those are all up on the channel ready for you guys to go. Uh, community members. So if you're an Elite Ninja 
uh, or also on Patreon, the eight hour live stream, the PE Live plus Super Smash Brothers gameplay. All eight hours of that is up on the community page and also up on Patreon. So if you want to go through, watch some intense matches of Super Smash Brothers. Oh my gosh, I couldn't stop playing yesterday. And then after I stopped streaming, I played for another like two hours after that. I was like in a hardcore, like serious mode. But I mean, I think I'm getting better with Joker. Like I've, I was actually able to take some games off of people that I usually don't take games off of with Joker. So it was good, and I was and I was adapt. I think I was adapting a lot better during matches with Joker. So so yeah, sounds good. Um, thanks, Dank Meme. I appreciate it. Since Nightbot isn't working today, so thanks, Dank Dank Meme. If you can be um, uh, Dank Meme, if you can be doing like the whole uh, member stuff and all that, be linking that. Uh, Nightbot's not working today, so I just need you to kind of do that for me too as well. Um, all right. So let's go and get into shoutouts. Oh, what is this metallic sound? I need to get these stupid things out of here. Anyway, um. If uh, if you guys want me to say hi to you guys in the chat, feel free. Type a comment, and I will say hi back to you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's do this. Uh, all right. So Sean Diamond, shout out to the, the manager, Sean Diamond's here. Jumpmon, what's up? Elite Ninja Jumpmon's here. Midas Magnazone's here. What's good? Gunslinger, shout out to Elite Ninja Gunslinger. Good to see you here as well. Thank Meme, once again. Good to see you here. The mod. Thank Meme. Uh, Bluntsy D, what's good, man? uh soren says live from uh, uh like the lives uh love from romania shout outs to romania thank you so much i appreciate my international users so thank you tether gaming what's up my boy um let's see here uh shout outs to co-captain of the viking nation fairy tigers here what's good fairy tiger always good to see the viking leader here j2 blue sexy g2 originators here as well what's up man good to see you here um ethan r what's good ethan r uh jordan fringe's favorite user from my channel ethan r is here shout outs to ethan um angel page is here what's good alonzo elite ninja alonzo vines is here um as well jarmo what's good man good to see you here uh thank you i appreciate that jarmo thank you thank you um batman batman is here what's good dave gaming what's good man how's it going try to stay awake all right relaxing saturday yeah it's gonna be a nice relaxing saturday i'm probably going to stream later tonight too i'm probably going to stream later tonight after the spawn cast that that ends around eight so i'll probably stream like from like maybe like 8 30 to like 10 30 then go to sleep so so yeah um what's good yeah i'm probably gonna be playing dragon's dogma tonight probably dragon's dogma tonight so i can start getting get through that game some more you know um all right mr valgard what's good um crusader duro crusader duro <laughs> i don't know how to say your name dude uh what's up man how's it going uh ben ben says oj you lost mad weight dude yeah when was the last time you've been in my streams yeah i've lost about uh since last year maybe around this time i've lost around 60 pounds i was about 240 last year around this time and now i'm about 180 180 something so so yeah i've also more more so than anything it's body fat a lot of body fat's gone like i've been um like abs i actually my abs are back and uh yeah a lot of fat off like right here um, a lot of fat off the face so yeah man just been uh eating healthy. my blood pressure wasn't wasn't really doing too good last year and like i said i was super stressed as well so yeah i lost a bit of weight um all right christian yo what's up what's up christian how you doing today my boy shout outs to christian good to see you here like always battlefront x what's up man good to see you here um jazzy once again lean into jazzy's here uh let's see here i'm jordan's favorite nah yeah i was joking <laughs> he really loves you deep down he really loves you um all right let me see who did i miss kj2399 what's good man What's good, but thank you, Ben. I I appreciate the uh, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. I'm still trying to lose a little bit more, but like I said, there's somebody that's like getting kind of mad at me that I'm losing some weight. She don't like it, but uh, but yeah, I'm gonna lose it. Probably gonna lose about another. I'll probably lose about another maybe 15 pounds, then I'll be done. I'll be good. Like if I'm like 170, I'll be happy. Like 170, 165 to 170, I'll be like, all right, I'm good. No more losing weight, and I'll just like. Make sure that I keep that weight, like 165 to 170, somewhere in that range. So I still got about 15 pounds to lose or so, and I'll be all right. Um, yeah, Nightbot's not working today. I don't know what's going on. Um, yo, what's up? Maze from Twitter. What's good, my boy? Elite Ninja Maze from Twitter. How's it going, man? Um, all right. Let's see. Who else did I miss? Did I miss anybody? Dave Gaming, I got you. Ataki. Shout out to the Elite Ninja. Renin Gun user Ataki. How's it going? uh uh p10 is here as well what's good i think i got everybody 
Galaxy B, yo, what's up, Galaxy B? Kaido J, what's up? Kaido J, Shadow King, 1982, what's up, man? Um, all right, Jump Mom. Uh, we starting up in just a bit. Let me just make sure I get everybody. I don't want to be rude and not get somebody and say hi when people are saying hi back to me. It's a tradition. It's a tradition, my boy. Gunslinger, shout out to Lady Ninja Gunslinger as well. What's good? JT Gamers here, Princess Lavinity as well. What's, what's good, everybody? Gallo Games is here too. What's good? I think I got everybody here. Streamlabs is here because Nightbot took the day off. <laughs> Deontay Hancock, what's good? Shout out to yo, my boy, Big Bailey. Good, what's up, man? Good to see you here, dude. Always good to see you. Um, DK, <laughs> DK Bucks. <laughs> Damien R is here. What's good? Keep the tradition. Got to keep the traditions live. Got to keep them live. Yo, we got our first shimmy of the stream. Let's go, Fairy Tiger, with the dollar donation. It says Fonza Mima Night Lego. All right, man, I got you. Thank you so much, Fairy Tiger. I appreciate that. Let's get your uh, music request going. Some Xenoblade and music to start things out. Xenoblade music. It's always good to hear some good Xeno. Always good to hear some good Xeno. This is the night music. Did you want the night music or the day music? So we're going to just gonna put... Um, I think we're just going to play the day since you didn't put night. So we'll just play the regular day. But it's night in Sweden, so I didn't know which one you wanted. So, you guys, let me know how it sounds right now. Let me know how it sounds. Is it too loud, not loud enough? Let me know in the chat. But thank you for the doll donation, Fairy Tiger. I appreciate that. Go ahead and get your name up here on the leaderboard. You are the top stream ninja, my boy. Night. Okay, you want the night theme. Okay. I, I figured maybe you wanted the night theme. Um, so, yeah. Ataki! What the hell are you doing? You guys! What are you guys doing? <laughs> Yo, what's good? Shout outs. Uh, shout outs to Ataki with the 50 Canadian bucks donation. This is, uh, uh, what's it called? AF, uh, AFU Nightbot. And for good, for, uh, for a good week of content, play Sonic Boom. Also, Damien R with the 100 DKK bucks. So here's some here's some DK dollars. Put your bongos, put your DK bongos in your pockets. DK DK bucks and Canadian money. Yo, I'll take that international money. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. I think Ataki is the top stream ninja. Um, I'm not exactly sure the translation of 50 Canadian dollars, but I know that's 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 like a Toby blaster. I'm pretty sure that's a Toby blaster. But it's through Super Chat, so it's not a Toby Blaster. But thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. Ataki, shout out to my boy. Ataki been around since pretty much the beginning when it comes to the rebuild of the village. So I appreciate that. Thank you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up right here. Uh, I'm just going to put 50 uh, CA. Uh, it, wait, that says dollars, though. But whatever. Um, shout out. You guys are... Now you guys are just being late. 70% <laughs> boys. Uh, shout outs to Batman with the $2 donation. Also, David Drayton with the 99 cent donation. Appreciate it. Fury Tiger with the 20, um, SEK. He says, have some sex. Thank you. I appreciate that. Streamlabs doesn't like my card. He doesn't like your card? No, Streamlabs loves your card. Streamlabs always loves your card. What's up, Solomon Solo? How you doing today, my boy? Yo, thank you, David Drayton. I appreciate that. Fury Tiger, thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate all the super chats and everything. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, shout out to Party Man. What's good, Party Man? Uh, let's see here. 70, 70% 70 boys. Ethan R with the 499 and says, LOL, 70% boys. Y'all don't realize this. Man, y'all giving YouTube money for nothing. <laughs> why y'all giving you? Why y'all giving YouTube money? <laughs> oh, dude, an international baller. Let's go. <laughs> YouTube's like, YouTube just like, YouTube doing the Birdman right now. just like, uh-huh. YouTube, YouTube doing the bird man right now, dude. <laughs> Thank you, though, guys. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Um, all right. So shall we get into the content? Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, 
Let's see here. Dave, I, I know you're giving me premium. I know you're giving me YouTube premium money. I know I know you are, David. I know you are. Shout out to Tether says might as well use my free super chat. Thank you, Tether. I appreciate that. Some of those are free. That's why I don't that's why I don't disable super chat. Because some of you guys have free super chats and you guys are I mean, like I said, some of you guys are really nice and generous. So I'm not ever gonna disable it. You know what I'm saying? But shout out. Shout outs to you guys for the support, though. I appreciate it. You guys don't have to give me anything. So thank you. I really do appreciate that. We just make jokes when it comes to super chat. Um Shout out to J2 Blue with the two dollars and says I would use Streamlabs, but I'm lazy, bruh. Streamlabs is see, look, we gotta start getting some. Uh, what is it? See, look, look, look at all those donations I got. Look at my health. Look, look at my health right here. See, look at that. Y'all barely did any damage to the health because Super Chat is just lazy. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all barely did any damage. All that. I'm still strong. I'm out here still wilding. Let's go. Um, <laughs> Alright, so let's go to get into this Fire Emblem 3 Houses news But shoutouts guys, thank you so much for the support I do appreciate that, for real um, Let's see here, Nintendo and Intelligent Systems are back again This is an article on Nintendo Everything Fury Tiger <laughs> shimmy $1 is 100% boys, let's go Play Fonzo Mizuma Day Alright, so we'll switch over to the to the day version of it Since, uh, since we just played the night So let's play the day So we'll just play the day one um, <laughs> here's another pre YouTube premium enjoy. Thank you, Deontay. Appreciate that, Obi. <laughs> All right, let me know how it sounds, guys. Let me know how it sounds. Thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. We got some new information on Fire Emblem Three Houses, guys. Uh, they're talking about Ger Geralt or no Geralt, Geralt in the game. Um, let's, let's switch over to this. So, uh, Nintendo Everything put an article up here. Um, let me know how it sounds, guys. Is it too loud, not loud enough? Let me know Let me know in the chat. Sounds like, sounds like it's a little loud, but let me know. Nintendo and Intelligent Systems are back again with another character introduction for Fire Emblem Three Houses. Today's update is for Geralt, who is voiced by is it Akio Otsuka in the Japanese version. Uh, Geralt play the role, or plays the role of the protagonist's father, but is also a veteran knight. He previously served as the head knight of the Church of Suros and was considered to be the strongest knight ever. He ended up leaving his position and became a mercenary. Sadly, his wife has already passed away. Geralt returns to the Knights of Suros towards the start of Fire Emblem Three Houses after students are saved from the Officer's Academy. Well, there you go. Uh, music's a little loud. Okay. All right, that should be better. So there you go. Um... That is the Fire Emblem Three Houses information that we do have. Uh, there should be some more uh, stuff. There's actually more stuff that they've talked about. Uh, a lot of the different um, people. Um, a lot of the different uh, people like Claude and um, all the different uh, the different three houses that you can pick from. So, so yeah, the Fire Emblem event is actually... The Expo is like today. The Fire Emblem Expo, Alonzo Vines. I'm glad that you brought that up. The Fire Emblem Expo is today. And I'm, I'm not really sure what they're going to be talking about there. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be some type of big thing where they're going to show off a lot of different stuff or what's going to be going on but um yeah it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting to see what they show off so uh overall like i'm going to be doing a video on this but overall if you guys had a hype meter for fire emblem three houses in terms of people who like fire emblem i guess some people don't like it so it's whatever um but what's your hype meter for fire emblem three houses at this point where is it at on the scale for you i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts also your thoughts on Geralt, your thoughts on the game so far i would love to hear it. um so let's see here um could they show gameplay um yeah there could be like a new trailer maybe um but i think a lot of it might be like fire emblem like uh like fire emblem hero stuff i think a lot of it's gonna be about that so j2 boost is 9.5 out of 10 12 out of 10 says jamie kai yo there we go a thousand out of a thousand 11 out of 10 uh, Na Nashawn Edwards says 9 out of 10 9 out of 10 Galaxy B 20 out of 10 for Fairy Tiger I know Fairy Tiger you're big on the strategy RPGs aren't you because I know you like you like Shining Force and stuff don't you or I know you do like some of those old school strategy RPGs so yeah let's see 7 out of 10 I need a gameplay of a battle They've, there's already gameplay of a battle up if you watch the Fire Emblem Fire Emblem uh, what was it they had like a 5 minute uh, video where they showed off combat they also showed off the first trailer of the game Last year, E3 showed off about uh, battles, and like I said, the the the, uh, the gameplay video that they showed off um, at the direct back in February had 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 battles as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know what you're saying. I need a game gameplay of a battle. We already got gameplay of a battle. The first trailer showed off uh, battle gameplay. 
Um, all right. And every single time that I talk about Fire Emblem on my channel, I use footage from, like, the battles in the game. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if you haven't seen it already, Ethan R, but it's, it's up for you to see. I mean, like... Um, Gunslinger says a thousand out of ten. Okay, uh, Batman says Fire Emblem three, house, uh, three houses hype meter is maxed out for me. Max, baby. Chuba says solid nine right now. Solid nine out of ten. KJ says solid eight or not solid, just eight out of ten for you. Okay. Uh, someone finally said my name right on the first try. It's yeah, and you know what the you know what the funny thing is? I'm horrible with pronunciation, so that's just pure luck. But yeah, N A E that'd be like nay. And then S H A U N Sean, so just Nay Sean, you know. But I can see how somebody might somebody might say uh, Nashan or Nashan, but it's just no Nay Sean, Nay Sean. So shout out to man. Uh, yo, what's up, Jade? How's it going, my boy? Good to see you here. Um, Jade puts this. Geralt seems like a cool character, but I wonder how much of a role he'll play in the story. I mean, the thing about it is that I don't know what type of role he's going to play. But I'm hoping that he actually plays a really cool role in it, like to where you can actually use him at some point. I'm hoping he's just not like a, a NPC, you know, where you can't use him. He's just like one of those main characters that you can't use. I think one of the biggest things that I want to see for Fire Emblem Three Houses, though, is like, what's the end game content? What's the extra, like, can you use a lot of the heroes from past Fire Emblem games, like in like uh, different uh, scenarios? Not necessarily in the main story, obviously, because it's in a different time era, or whatever the case is. But I really want to see what they do with some of the extra content. Yo, what's up, Red Enigma 23? How you doing today, my boy? Good to see you here. Um, I wonder if Romance returns. I think there's... Pro I mean, I don't know because there's like students, but I'm pretty sure there might be some type of romance that you can do. I'm almost positive there's going to be some type of romance that you can do in the game. Uh, you guys, for those who are watching, uh, keep uh, if anybody can um, make sure to keep me updated on anything going on with the Fire Emblem Expo, that'd be great. Um, let's see here. Thank you. Says my hype, my FE hype level is hundred out of ten. Yo, are you hype, you you that hype for the game, dude? Nice. I saw that. I just need to see it in action, like a whole entire start to battle. I want to watch the. Uh, I want to watch the content. OJ, don't worry. Okay, you watch the content. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why you need to see. I mean, Fire Emblem battles are pretty much pretty. I mean, pretty cut and dry. So I don't know. I don't know if you've played a Fire Emblem game beforehand, but I mean, what you see in the battle right there is pretty much what you do the, throughout the whole thing. It's just strategically moving your people on that given map, and then it's not, like you go there, you, you hit somebody, they hit you back, and then like it's really not much different. You're not gonna get anything more or anything new from what they saw because what they showed was they showed like the top of the battle, how you pick your character, the the units that you get. And that and you just progress through but there isn't anything that changes it's not like an action game or like a like a uh, like a platformer like the map and whatever you're on is that that's what you're on and you go from scenario to scenario so you watching a whole battle isn't going to be much different from what you just saw already because it doesn't change it's literally like it's it's strategy you're, you're, the goal is to complete whatever objective which is to beat the boss or beat like the person you know beat the boss at the end of it or is to just take out the enemy. So it's not going to be much different, just to let you know. So I don't think you're going to get any more hyped from what we originally saw compared to, you know, where at this point. Just because nothing changes. That's just, I mean, unless they've done something different. I mean, I know that there's times where sometimes, like, units come in out of nowhere, you know. I mean, but that's not really changing up much. So, um, but yeah, I mean, maybe seeing more skills, seeing more of the different stuff that you can do. But I mean, I think they've already shown enough. So I mean, if you're seven out of ten, I don't think really seeing a whole battle is going to change much from what from what we already saw personally. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. OJ, where's the pizza? I don't have any pizza. Um, let's see. Hey, what's up, Charity Scott? How you doing today? Um, and any May birthdays coming up? Any May birthdays? Uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I never played a Fire Emblem game, but you talked me into the Bayonetta series in the past as well as Xenoblade Chronicles Two, Torna, and I love both. So maybe. Uh, you'll hype me enough to buy three houses. Hey, look, look, if you want to, uh, if you like strategy RPGs, then Fire Emblem Three Houses is for you. Um, for me, it comes down to Fire Emblem is one of those games, man, where it's just like, it's so strategic, but it's so cool. It's just fun to play. It's fun as hell. It has, it has great characters, great story, always has a good story. I love what they do with the Fire Emblem story and everything. And it's just, it's just one of those games. It's just, it's just a great chill um cool game to play you know you can play it portably you can play it on your tv it just works man 
Um, I played I played Awakening when I was like 15 and the Dynasty Warriors type of game like last year. Yeah, exactly. I think that, yeah, basically I can see the reason why you don't really like you're saying, oh, well, I need to see a little bit more because all you've played is Awakening. You know what I'm saying? Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem more is, not, is that's not Fire Emblem. That's just, that's, that's, that's Muso with Fire Emblem characters. So that's not the same thing. There's a couple different things. But yeah, if all you play was Awakening when you're like 15 years old, I can see why you're saying that. But nothing's really going to change much. Think of Awakening and think about, wait, if you can remember how Awakening was, and what you play when think about that but just better graphics and some new some new tweaks and adjustments like to how everything looks but visual but when it comes to the actual like structure of the gameplay and what you're going to do in maps it's not going to be much different from from that you know it's but however the mechanics and what you do is different now awakening doesn't have open-ended areas fire emblem three houses does but they but they've already shown that though they've shown the castle they've shown you walking around the castle they've shown you upgrading and you know being at the academy and teaching so that's something new that fire emblem games have never had before you've never had an academy like a hub world where you go and like you walk around and and like you teach and you learn that that's never happened that's actually a brand new thing for fire emblem however they ha they have had open-ended areas like for example I think Fire Emblem Gaiden or Fire Emblem uh, Sh uh, Echo Shadows of Valentia that had uh, open end yeah that did that that had open ended dungeons where you go in you walk around freely and then you go into battles from there so this is the first for the series so if anything that's the new thing from Awakening but in terms of the battles and the structure unless they have some tricks that they haven't showed us I think it's going to be pretty much what we've seen there with the new mechanics built in how you have like leaders and then those leaders have troops so it's more of a large scale battle that's going on on the map you know um all right uh let's see here uh shadow king says i'm curious if we get any new original classes in three houses i'm pretty sure we'll get some original classes yeah uh jade says what school is in fire emblem three houses you jo join it i'm gonna do all three i'm gonna do a hardcore run of the game if we get to 175 members so hopefully we'll get there by that time i think we will because we still got about another two months before the game comes out um two and a half or so so hopefully we'll get there and i'll do a hardcore run and more i mean that's a lot of more work but i'll stream a hardcore run from start to finish hardcore um hardcore classic run by the way um so i'm gonna be getting my butt kicked the whole time so hardcore classic run from start to finish and then i'm going to be doing a regular streaming run where i stream the game for you guys and play the game and then i'm also going to be doing my own personal run of the game um or let's play what you guys will see was a let's play run of the game as well so you're going to get all three paths pretty much at the same time and you guys can watch whatever path you guys feel like watching <laughs> but believe it or not you're literally going to get all three you're going to get one run which is my own save file that i'm going to be playing on regular uh, and um uh casual so if my units die they'll just come back so i'll have that run and then, like I said, I'll have a streaming run where I play for just streaming and it'll be a certain character that I pick. And then I'll have the hardcore run that I'll have. So you guys will see all three paths at, literally at the same time. Just various different points. I'll upload this or that or whatever the case is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you got a new laptop? Nice. Um, let's see. Here. Oh, I, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I already read that. Um, all right. Uh, Shadow King 1982 with the $2 donation. Thank you so much, Shadow King. I appreciate that and he says play fire emblem three houses main theme okay we're gonna play the japanese one because there's a copyright troll uh there's a copyright troll on certain american fire emblem songs there's a there's a crate there's a stupid copyright troll they, they did the same thing with my stream yesterday they they, co uh, they copyright claimed lost in thoughts all alone the english version of the game so there's this dumb copyright troll companies that are doing this with certain fire emblem music um it's so lame and youtube still hasn't fixed it it's been years now and youtube hasn't fixed it um, so I will play the Japanese main theme, um, of that. All right, here we go. Let me know how it sounds, guys. So what team are you guys going to pick? What team are, I see a lot of people picking different teams. What teams, what teams are you guys going to pick? Jay says, uh, Black Eagles. Okay, that's, that's what Edelgard, right? Um, let's see here. Oh, Sonic Boom. I totally forgot Ataki. Hold up. Let me play. Let me play the Sonic Boom song. All right. Here we go. Yo, shout out to Fairy Tiger with the shimmy. And he says, Team Black Eagles. Hashtag Team Black Eagles. Let's go. Um, let's go. All right. All right, Sonic Boom. 
Sorry, Ataki, I forgot about that. Because everybody was acting all crazy with the super chat, so just, just got ran over. Let me know how it sounds, guys, in the chat. I'm doing all three, but starting with Black Eagles. Okay, nice. I don't know yet. Okay, Black Eagles, definitely Black Eagles. Okay, I got a lot of Black... Because you guys are all... You're all looking for that waifu. That's why all of you... You guys are... You guys are so predictable. So predictable. You guys are so predictable. You guys out here doing... Going with, 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 with the cute girl. I know what you guys are trying to go for. You guys think that you guys can romance. That's exactly what you guys... Y'all gonna pick the dude avatar. Y'all gonna pick Black Eagles, and you guys are gonna try to. You're gonna. You guys are gonna try to shimmy. Y'all gonna try to shimmy on Edelgard. We all. I already know what y'all trying to do. So this Black Eagles, Black Eagles, Black Eagles. Y'all already know what y'all. Y'all. Y'all ain't slick. Y'all. Y'all ain't slick. <laughs> y'all try to try to take try to take Edelgard out for some drinks after a long day of. Slashing people with swords, huh? Uh, I'm going with the female protagonist with Edelgard. I, I always pick female protagonists. So, I mean, obviously, I'll be playing through the game. I'll have the male protagonist. I'll have the female protagonist. So, I'm going to do both. But I usually pick female protagonists. I usually pick female protagonists. So, that's what I do. Uh, we haven't seen any of the other characters for Three Houses. So, what do you want us to do? We have seen the other three characters. There's Edelgard. There's Claude. And then there's the other guy. The, um... There's Tom Brady's Tom Brady's Fire Emblem twin. What's his name? What's the what's the blue dude's name? He's forgettable. Um, we have seen the other characters. I don't know what you're talking about. Dimitri. There you go. Dimitri. Wait, I don't know why you're saying we haven't seen any of the characters. Yeah, we have. <laughs> they they literally announced it with those three those three different ones. So or not announced it, but we've seen the other characters. And then besides the house leaders. Well, those are the only three paths though, dude. You're saying that we haven't seen anybody else, but those are the only three paths that you can take. You can take one of those three paths. So I don't know why you're saying that's the only one that we've seen. No, we haven't. We've seen the three. You have the three different houses. You have the deer. You have the the black eagles. Then you have the other dude. So I don't know why you're saying that. That's the only. That's the only one that we've seen. No, it's not. I'm saying that everybody's picking Edelgard, the one girl, because they want a shimmy. You know what I'm saying? They want to get their shimmy on. Uh, the lolly is a good wife. It was just a uh, uh, y'all with foot fetishes and want to slide into her DMs. She don't got no DMs. She lives in your head, dude. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Psycho Pie? I haven't played Fire Emblem since the GBA ones. Man, you're missing out. You're missing out. I um, I reckon we'll see a fourth house DLC. I don't know. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait on that one. Claude, the best boy. I saw a message from Twitter said that he, he wants to. Uh, you're gonna. Uh, you're gonna pick Claude. Um. I miss Gunslinger's comment. What is Gun? Dude, there's a lot of people. What did Gunslinger say? What did you say, Gunslinger? Uh, you already know uh, when a waifu ha has that curve, she she the one to team with. Okay, I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying that's why you guys are picking her. You guys are all talking about Black Eagles, but we all know why you guys are picking picking her. That's all I'm trying to say. You know, uh, everyone wants to shimmy up with her. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to Golden Deer with my first playthrough. Then the uh, then the rest. Plot is where it's at. OJ. Okay. If I had to pick though, to be honest, if I had my first pick. I'd actually pick, I'd probably pick Cla Claude. Like, that's what I, because I'd pick a female protagonist, and then I'd be like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to shimmy Claude. <laughs> I'm going to shimmy it up with Claude. That's, that's what I'm picking. So, but I'm going to be doing all three, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I'm going to shimmy with Claude with, with, uh, with that, so. <laughs> it's all about the, it's all about the shimmy. Adam uh, Thomas says Claude is hot. LOL. Claude's hot. You gotta get with Claude. <laughs> Jade says Black Eagles, obviously, for reasons I shouldn't explain. There you go. Exactly. Shibby, shibby Claude. <laughs> JT Blue's like, what? <laughs> Me? <laughs> uh, Debbie says, nah, Black Eagles for the win, bruh. <laughs> Black Eagles for the win. Let's do it. Um, Golden Nugget Deers. Let's go. The game is called Three Houses, though. It'd be called Four. It's called the Nintendo 3DS. Shut up and play it in 2D if you're a kid. <laughs> it's called Three Houses, but we all know Nintendo. We all we all know Nintendo. 
when Tom Brady's gonna Tom Brady's gonna get a custom version of the game where it's just all pick it's just all the three houses, but it's all Claude. Or not Claude, sorry, it's all Dimitri. It's all Dimitri. <laughs> That's what his version of the game is. It's just all Dimitri. Every single one of them is just Dimitri. He doesn't have to, he doesn't get to choose. Metallic fan 1994 with the subscription. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Welcome to the village, my boy. Uh, OJ was Radiant Dawn good? Yeah, Radiant Dawn was good. So is Path of Radiance. It's not as, Radiant Dawn is not as good as Path of Radiance, but it's still good. Um, <laughs> three ways. <laughs> Fire Emblem three ways, bruh. Oh, uh, bruh, bruh. All right, so if you guys have any more questions on Fire Emblem Three Houses, let me know in the chat. All right, so we're going to stop this Sonic Boom music, and we're going to move on to this next one here, which is Fairy Tiger's Pick. Hold up. Let me start it over. Let me know how it sounds, guys. FE three houses plus one. Oh my gosh. You guys are funny, man. You guys are funny. No, but thank you, Metallic Fan. I appreciate that. Welcome to the village, homie. Um, is GBA Fire Emblem worth 60 bucks on Amazon? Nah, not really. I think you can get it on the 3DS, right? I know I have it on the 3DS. But if you want a physical cartridge, yeah, then it's worth it. Can't wait to reach the god levels of power on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yeah, man, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to get powered up, man. I, lo I love... You know what I love doing in Fire Emblem games? Getting stupid strong. Getting stupid strong, leveling up, and just be like, BAM! Just freaking bodying people. I love that in Fire Emblem games. Oh my, I love getting stupid strong in Fire Emblem games. I love when you get the critical hits. Long Q. Bro, rolling with that kill, uh, what was it, the killing edge or whatever it is? Oh, I love, I love crits. I love crits in Fire Emblem. When you get a crit, it feels, especially when you get that, when you get that clutch crit, but you need it when you're about to die. You're like, man, if I don't crit this dude. Oh, what the? Yo! What is this, Big Bailey? With the infinite Sukioli. Oh, Big Bailey, what is this? Yo! Bro, really? Yo, Big Bailey, let's go, man! Yo, yo, Big Bailey, first of all, man, thank Big Bailey, thank you for the support, man, you've been like, absolutely so generous for, and for no reason, well, I guess it's for reason, like you said here, but yo, thank you, man, I appreciate that, I really, really, really do appreciate that, and I really need to adjust something, guys, um, Big Bailey actually should have activated a brand new jutsu, so I'm gonna play that for you guys, because, um, there is a jutsu for what he did, but I forgot to switch it over, so we're gonna replay it, but I'm gonna show you guys the jutsu that plays with that amount, because that's actually a crazy amount, and I put in a new jutsu, so I will play, I just forgot to adjust the amount on here, but let me read off what Big Bailey had to say here, he said, uh, OJ, this is for the, all the hard work you have done, also really like last night's, um, Ultimate, uh, Smash stream, also, can you play music from Skies of Arcadia? Absolutely. We'll get that music going for you. Thank you so much, Big Bailey, for the huge, very generous donation, man. I do appreciate that. I really do. Um, so, hold up. Let me let me show you guys the new Jutsu here because it was actually supposed to be activated with that amount um, and up. So, hold up here. Uh, let me see here. Where's it at? It's on with they, 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 they changed this whole thing, so now I got to do this. Uh, let's see here. Big Bailey is Big Bailey is proof fire album hype. Yeah, man, super fire. You guys give some love, shitting as I see the emotes. Yo, give it up for Big Bailey. Uh, Big Bailey becoming the top stream ninja. Big Bailey also becoming Hokage mode for the month. Also stream boss and also weekly top ninja. That's called the quad factor. You can't get much better than that. So thank you so much, man. I appreciate that, Big Bailey. Um, all right. So I really do. I really do. I mean. I just do my best, man. You guys have helped me out so much in my life. You guys literally saved my life. So thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, let's see here. All right. So it's going to be this one right here. This is the brand new Jutsu. This is the first time it's ever been played. I, um, so hopefully you guys, hold on. Let me put it full screen. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you guys like it. All right. So we're going to put it pretty big here. I think it's okay. It's kind of signifies kind of something cool. Uh, so hopefully I don't over, I'm not, I'm not trying to overhype it or nothing, but I like it. Um, like I said, this dude, this new dashboard makes it so hard to, it doesn't make, it makes it, you have to click extra times just to get to 
to get to something. Um, all right. Yeah, you have to click like a million different times. And you have to open up the alert variations. It's like, bleh, bleh. All right. So let's test. All right. Here we go. Okay. This is the Gedo. Gedo. Rebirth. The rebirth of the village. Let it rain. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully you like it. The Gato Rebirth donation. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Seriously. Thank you so much, Big Bailey. I just wish it actually activated when it was done there. Renangon hype. There you go. Heck yeah. We had to do that, dude. That is a pretty cool jutsu, is it not? Ghetto Rebirth? <laughs> I was working on that one for a bit. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? All right. So uh, let me see here. Let me make sure that I switch that. Hold up. Give me a second, guys. All right, create it. Man, I just got to learn how to navigate this. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, that's a brand new Jutsu. Do you have a Harlem Jutsu or a reverse Harlem Jutsu? Uh, revert? Nah. Nah, I don't have that yet. But I'll be taking suggestions soon. Once we do the revamp of, the, of Player Essence, we're going to have... Right now, we have about... Um, let me look. Right now, we have... how many? Let me count how many Jutsus we have. I want to get like 25. I want to get a ton. But right now we have about, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw 11, 12, 13. We have 13 different jutsus. I want to get like 20 to 25 jutsus by the time that we do the rebrand over the summer. So, so yeah, I want to get a lot. Looks cool. You like it? Cool, man. I'm glad you like it, Big Bailey. Thank you. You're the first person. You are definitely the re you're the first person since we since I made the jutsu. There's other people, obviously, you know, that have done that, you know, in terms of the amount and everything. But that's the first time that it's actually, you know, supposed to be activated uh, since I changed it up. So, shout outs, man. Um, all right, good. Thank you. All right. So let's see here. Uh, I'm not gonna add a jutsu guide. I'm not gonna add a jutsu guide because that that's that's a form of uh, that's a visual representation of like e begging, and I don't want to do that. I was talking to I was talking to uh, my mentor, and he said don't do that. So I'm not gonna do it. Um, all right, but thank you so much, uh, Big Bailey. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, did we make a 300 jutsu yet? I made anything that's a certain amount and up. I did a new jutsu for that. Um, I'm going to work on a three, like I said, once we do the revamp, I'm going to work on getting the, the tiered one. So we're going to have it basically better organized. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely work on getting that, but that's the one that we do have for that amount that I have and up, uh, for over a hundred, we do have that. And then I'm going to work on getting like the next steps and all that. It's just that the, the jutsus, they have to make sense. And I have to like make them in a certain way to where it works. Sometimes they get cut off or it gets wonky or sometimes it's not good unless it's like a certain size. So just there's a lot of there's kind of a lot of like other hidden factors that kind of go into it. But uh, yeah, the revamp, like I said, we are going to re revamp things. You guys, are, a lot of you guys, ask, why don't you ha uh, hang up those posters? Like I said, with the revamp, you guys are going to see, um, you know, what we're going to do. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So shout outs, man. Um... <clears throat> all right so let's see here uh, turbo blaster nerd <laughs> what? day game says uh we are wearing the same shirt today you got good style yeah spawncast spawncast tonight guys spawncast tonight um but thank you big bailey i appreciate that man um all right so let's move on to the next topic here shall we guys we got the eShop sales um let me replay this fire emblem three houses music because the hype i mean it was crazy what happened Let's see, I'm still waiting on the Jutsu with the uh, blacks out the screen. Um, the, the only problem with that is it's an alert box, Andre. So I'd have to find some type of program that I can integrate that would, that would take over the whole screen only for that one thing. Because the alert box is a size that I put up on screen no matter what. So if I put it to where I, you guys would see me doing shimmies full screen, I can't change the size of the alert box based on the actual jutsu being done. It has to be the same size. So even like when I adjusted it, I have to adjust it any time that I had to replay it. 
So if I can find a program that'll allow me to do certain jutsus to do beat different sizes outside of the alert box, I'll find it. I mean, I'll try to do that, but I haven't been able to find a program that'll let me do that yet. Um, that's the only problem. However, what I can do is that if that does activate, like let's say, you know, a certain amount, I can replay it and then black out the screen. So, I mean, I guess that loses some of the impact, right? But I mean, I can do that at this point. Um, so yeah, is my mentor um, Andrew Wall? No, my mentor is not Andrew Wall. I'm not going to tell you guys who my mentor is, unfortunately, because he doesn't want people coming to him like that. Um, Shadow King says, I like Fire Emblem when you get uh, so strong that an enemy does no damage and you brush it off like it was nothing. Yeah, exactly. You get hit and you're just like, and, you know, I love that, man. I absolutely love that. It's so good. Um, but let's move on to the Switch eShop sales charts. There is a surprising game at number two, and that is Mortal Kombat. Yo, look at these eShop sales charts, guys. Let's go ahead and go over to the reaction here. Yo, what's up, Dustin? How's it going, my boy? Good to see you here. What's up, Dustin? Shout outs to Hokage Tier Elite Ninja, Dustin. Um, player since is Phil, uh, mentor is Philip, bruh. <laughs> Bruh, bruh, nah, man. These, all these jutsus are are my thought process on doing this. Ain't nobody doing this on YouTube like I do it. Um, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> that's funny though. I like Fire Emblem when you get so. Oh, okay, I already read that. Um, just stopping by to say hi before I do laundry. Have a good stream, yo, bro. You know, do you need to actually get a get a get a smartphone, my man? You can do laundry and listen to me. Let's go, let's go, man. I know you can do laundry and listen. Let's go. Get the headphones, do some laundry and listen. Um, all right, so here's the eShop sales charts for May 4th, 2019. Um, so we're looking at it. Mortal Kombat 11's actually moved up. This is interesting. So here's what we do know. This is this could tell us a little bit of, about the sales here. What we know is that Katana Zero sold about 100K in that first opening week or so. Mortal Kombat 11 is above that. So Mortal Kombat's not doing too bad for a full price, huge game on the eShop. That's actually not doing too bad. Mortal Kombat 11 at number two. Cuphead number one. Cuphead's going to be up there. It's going to be up there for a long time. Cuphead's going to be like the Stardew Valley. You know what I'm saying? Or it's going to be like the, um, uh, what is it? Uh, what was that other game that was up there? Um, like Minecraft. Or it's going to be like that type of game. That's just going to be up there forever, man. Um, but you pre-purchased. You you're not going to go buy. Wait a minute. Mace from Twitter. You're not going to go buy. Uh. Um, you're not going to go buy, what's it called? You're not going to go buy, uh, it physical. The physical edition is so sweet, dude. Um, you said, I can't listen to you while I'm pouring the laundry. Of course you can. What you talking about? Smartphone, homie. Of course you can. Um, yeah, like Rocket League. Exactly. Yeah, Dustin, like Rock. Wait, hold up, Dustin. Hold up. Dustin, you're a Hokage tier elite ninja here. You're an elite ninja. Dustin, it's time for a profile picture. We can't. Bro, we can't have you, we can't have you rolling around with that blank purple avatar. It's time for a profile picture, man. You're too, you're, you're one of the top here. We got to get you, we got to get, pick a favorite video game character or something like that. And uh, let's get you a profile picture now, man. Uh, he says, nah, I'm all digital, OJ. Bruh, Mage from Twitter. See, you youngins, you, man, you youngins, y'all don't, gosh, okay, I, I get it, I get it. Yeah, Hollow Knight was up there forever. Where Where is Hollow Knight now? Is it not on the charts anymore? I guess maybe it... Yeah, you know, it's still there, number 26. It's it's kind of old now. It's kind of uh, old now at this point, though. What else do we got? Minecraft, yep, number six. Timberman versus... What's Timberman versus? And I see people put this Human Fall Flat game. Super Smash Brothers, Stardew Valley, SteamWorld Quest. Okay, good stuff for SteamWorld Quest being number 11. I like that. Final Fantasy VII, good. Rocket League, Overcooked 2... Donna Survivors, what's that? Mile Kart 8 Deluxe, Final Fantasy 12, The Zodiac Age. I gotta go buy that. That game's gonna be 20 bucks by the time Black Friday rolls around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it then. Just because I have too many games to play. I, I gotta I gotta give some stuff up. I gotta give some stuff up, man. I got too many games to play. Final Fantasy 12 is just one of those unfortunate um cuts that I can't do because I gotta get through Dragon's Dogma. Um all right, take it easy. Uh Kelvin, thanks for coming out to the stream, man. Uh, hi, OJ, what did I miss when it comes to Fire Emblem 3 Houses? We talked about Geralt, and we talked about just a bunch of other stuff with the game, like what we're excited for, hype level, meters, and all that stuff. You can uh, rewind 
uh, the stream if you want to see that and catch up on that. Um, so yeah, man, I just have too many games to play because like I've tried. I told myself that I'm going to commit to sticking to games. Like so, like Dragon's Dogma, I've been streaming that a lot more. This is the most like Dragon's Dogma is the most that I've streamed of a game in a very long time. You know, very long time. So, um, so yeah, those are the eShop sales charts, guys. Uh, let me make sure that I put. Um, I got to get Big Bailey's music going. Um, he wanted Skies of Arcadia, so Arcadia. Alright, this is I actually talked about Skies of Arcadia today in my Sega video. So we're gonna play a nice uh, Skies of Arcadia. Wait, hold up, no, that's the main theme. I wanna play the battle theme. The battle theme's dope. Maybe we'll play both. Maybe we'll play both. Yeah, here we go. I love Skies of Arcadia. Can we can we can we real quick? We gotta add in a topic. Big Bailey with that big donation. We got we gotta add in a we gotta add in a topic here. Let me ask you guys a question. Who here who here has actually played Skies of Arcadia? Let me ask you guys that question here. Who's who here has actually played it? I want to hear you guys' thoughts because I didn't look at the comment section when I talked about Skies of Arcadia. So here who here has actually played Skies of Arcadia and loves the game? <laughs> why not, why am I typing in Skies of Arcadia here? <laughs> you guys know what I'm thinking about, right? I'm just thinking about Skies. <laughs> Let me make, make sure I spell his name right. But thank you, Big Bailey, man. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, I haven't, but I've been looking uh, looking for it online, and it's dumb expensive. It is dumb expensive. It is dumb expensive. Whether you want it on the GameCube. And you know what pissed me off the most? My freaking copy got stolen. When I was in college, I was so mad that my copy of Skies of Arcadia got stolen. It is dumb expensive. Let's, let me let me look at the rates. I want to. I actually want to buy it again though. Mm. Yeah, it's up to seventy bucks. Hundred and twenty dollars for the Dreamcast game. I mean, you're gonna spend you're gonna spend seventy you're gonna spend seventy to eighty dollars, you know, for the game minimum. So yeah, I'm gonna buy. It. I'm gonna go buy it though. <laughs> I gotta I gotta I'm gonna buy my GameCube. I gotta buy another GameCube this weekend. I'm gonna buy a bunch of GameCube games too. Um, I uh, I have I love Skies of Arcadia. I did. I loved it. I played the Dreamcast and GameCube version, and I loved it. It needs to come back, huh? I have not got a chance to get it. Well, Dave Beam, you're like 15 years old, so yeah, I don't. It, it like came out like before you were born. Digibus says that pretty much shows uh, people who bought the game don't care about graphics as long as the game is good. Yeah, Skies of Arcadia. I mean, it's one of those games where, at the time that it was released, it was probably the most unique RPG. It was one of the most unique RPGs ever. Because you had like a two progression type of battle system. Basically, um, the Sky, uh, Fairy Tiger says Skies of Arcadia, love it, still have it. Nice, man. Basically, what, what how the battles would play out was that you have like regular towns, right, and everything. But you rolled around, you, you were basically a sky pirate. And you had p battles where not only did you have to make sure that you battle people like, you know, on land or on, you know, in your airship, but you actually battled airships against each other. But it was like an RPG battle. So like you would you would infuse cannons with magic. So you, you put people you assign people to certain um, areas of your of your ship, and then you actually fight airship battles against people um, in the game in addition to regular battles. Which I never really saw anything like that in an RPG. Turn based airship battles, it was phenomenal at the time. It was just so good. And then if you played the GameCube version, it was called Skies of Arcadia Legends, and they added in extra. Uh, they had these wanted battles. So they added those in with extra powerful uh, people in the game. So it was, it, man, it was so good. I 100% through that game. I think I put around 300 to 400 hours into that game. I powered up to level 99. I was so strong, dude. I would just freaking Pirate's Wrath or whatever Vice's super move was. Just body people, just do the max damage. It was just, oh man, it was so good. So good. Um, Shadow King says, I still have my GameCube copy and, and I enjoyed it, especially the island building as well. Yeah, yeah, really good. 
Oh, referring to Mortal Kombat. Okay, yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, J2 Blue. Um, so, yeah, man, it was great. Uh, that would be great. Uh, HD re-release. You know what? You know what would be even better than an HD re-release? A brand new Skies of Arcadia. I talked about that in my video today. But I even also have a Skies of Arcadia. If you guys do like Skies of Arcadia, um, if you guys are like big fans of the series, um, I got a video on the channel that didn't really get a lot of love back when I released it. Maybe I released it at a bad time or people just didn't care. But I actually have a Skies of Arcadia video um, where I talk more about what I'd like to see in the franchise going forward. Um, so I, I'll pull that up, I think. Where's it at? Skies Arcadia. Where I talk about the game more. Okay, here we go. Skies of Arcadia needs to come to Nintendo Switch. Yeah, there we go. Skies of Arcadia and other Dreamcast games on Switch, it's possible. Okay, that's just like a... That's just like a... What's it called? Alright, so let me let me link it right here. So you guys can put that on your to-watch list. Um, so yeah. All right, let's see. The music in Skies was dope, too. The music in Skies was really good. I forgot the, the the producer of the music, but the music was super good in the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, Mortal Kombat uh, doing as well as it has reinforces my long-held uh, view that the fighting game crowd is the most visible on the Nintendo Switch platforms. Soul Calibur 6, DOA 6, and Tekken 7 not on the Switch is a miscalculation. I mean, like, I don't think the Switch version is going to outsell the PS4 or Xbox One version, but I do think that I need to turn on my air conditioner because it's getting kind of hot in my office because where I live in California is freaking dumb hot. So give me just one second, and then I'll talk about that. <laughs> you know, it used to get so hot here that the 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 uh the the cables that would for the wiring for the internet would burn and cause the internet to uh to act up in like 2015 like 2016 whenever i was having sometimes trouble streaming games and stuff like that or there'd be like a lot of lag and i didn't know why it was because the cables were so burnt up over the summer so now they have these new reinforced heat proof cables that they used on my on the on the stuff here but yeah the, the cables in the summer here used to literally burn and people's internets would be lagging and be acting up because they'd have to come replace them every some odd weeks because it would get so freaking hot here um so yeah um so basically let's talk about this in terms of uh like mortal Kombat. because like we were on the eShop sales before we talked about skies of arcade i just want to talk about that because big bailey i uh, was playing some skies so i know he's a big skies fan if he's, if he's asking for skies of arcadia um, so, yeah, I think that the biggest thing with this, guys, is that I don't think it's going to outsell the Xbox One or PC or PS4 version of the game. I think I do think it's going to do well enough, though, to where it was worth pointing the game. They're going to make some profit off of it, so I do think that. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, what do you guys think? Um, I do think it's going to outsell the Xbox One version. Do you really? Because Mortal Kombat usually sells pretty good on Xbox. Yo, what's up, Sam? Got to go heading out to see the, uh, to see the long shot. All right, take it easy, Ethan R. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Um, though, uh, hold up. The only way I'd be on board with a new Skies of Arcade is if an entirely new cast, otherwise new people would be completely lost on who the characters are. Well, I mean, if, if, even if it's a Skies of Arcadia 2, do you have to have a, like, what does it matter? They can learn who the new characters are. They can put in a, you know, they can put in, like, a, 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 a synopsis or whatever, or like a recap. Like, like, I don't know if they have to do it to where it's a whole new cast. I mean, I guess that would probably be the most logical way to do it would be like just a whole new cast and just like you take the gameplay elements of skies of arcadia but i'd be down for just like a straight up sequel to skies of arcadia i mean they leave, they leave room in the game for there to be a sequel it's not like pirates disappear after i mean i know there's like a, there's a bigger overarching you know evil and all that but i mean it's not like there couldn't there couldn't be something else that comes so i'd actually be down with either one at this point beggars can't be choosers at this point shadow king i think that there's only been one game in the franchise and it's just been dead um so I mean, it's been so dead that they canceled the PS2 version of the game. That's how dead the franchise is. Like, when you cancel a PS2 version of a game, 
Whoa, that's how you know it's dead. That's how you know Sega really wanted to kill this franchise. They freaking canceled the PS2 version. You know, the system with, like, the greatest selling system of all time. You know, like, <laughs> they canceled that version of the game. That's how you know they wanted this franchise dead. Like, when you do something like that, you know? So, so, yeah. Um, what else do you guys have to say on this? Uh, boom. Uh, it'll sell well enough for WB to bring over more stuff uh, over a late Injustice 2 port or Shadow of Mortar. That's war. I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know if Injustice 2 is going to come over because I think that that series is kind of dead at this point. Mortal Kombat's out, so if anything, you do an Injustice 3 or you just keep on pushing Mortal Kombat. So I don't know if they're going to bring back Injustice. I mean, that didn't do as well for them. So, so yeah. But yeah, they really wanted it dead. Yeah, y yikes, yikes indeed, dude. They really wanted that franchise dead. I mean, I don't understand Sega. Like, this is part of the stuff that, that gets me upset with Sega, or I just like, I, I don't understand what they're going for. What's their aim with doing the certain things that they've done? You know, I don't know. I don't know. So, what can you say? You know, what what can you say to what Sega? To some of the stuff that Sega does, it's it's incredible. You know. It's incredible. Man, uh, there's a lot of GameCube games I missed back because I had a PS2 then. I have a GameCube now, but I only have a few games. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of games that I missed on PS2. Um, or I missed on, no, sorry, PS1. Because all I had was an N64 back in the day, and I could only borrow my friend's PS2s when he went out of town for the summer or play at my friend's houses. But I never had a PS1 growing up. Um, I had a PS2, like, in 2013, I was working, like, I had a job, so I, in 20, not 2013, sorry, I was working then, but, um, in 2003, there you go, 2003, I was working, um, I was working fast food, so I just bought, I bought my friend's PS2 for $100, I got a PS2, I got a, I got a memory card and a controller for $100, so, I was not bad in 2003, not bad at all, so he needed money, probably for drugs, <laughs> I just know he was always I remember he just always needed money he always needed money for something you know which people need money for stuff I get that but like even back when we were in high school I remember when one time dude he came to my house this dude came to my house and borrowed $20 and then never paid me back <laughs> he just said hey man I need $20 on the spot I was like uh, alright yeah, I gave him $20. He's like, I'll pay you back. I'm like, all right. I don't think I've seen him. I'm not sure if I've seen him since. I think I might have seen him since, but I'm not 100% sure if I've seen him since. But it's all good. <laughs> like, I don't care. I, oh, You know what? I ran into his his mom. I ran into his mom um, at the supermarket a couple years back. And she was like, oh, hey, how's it going? I was like, hey, hey. I didn't say the whole thing with his son, like with their son, but I knew, I knew their, cause he had, it was one of my friends. Um, and then he had a sister that was the same age. So, and like, I was friends with both of them. I was friends with both of them. And I used to go over to their house and like sleep over and like hang out, blah, 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 play basketball, play video games together, blah, blah, you know, just hang out all that when we were in high, when we were in high school. So it's all good. Uh, OJ slide into the DMs. Nah, 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 nah. That was my friend's. That was that was my friend's sister. No, I wouldn't do that. She was cute, but that was my friend. I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, Craig Astor says, to be honest, uh, just uh, just to remind you that the past Fire Emblem games, the main character's parents don't live that long. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, <clears throat> said Brett. So yeah, man, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. So um, they won't. Uh, they won't. They won't now. The Switch version wasn't in their main pro promo material. However, it's performed well. Imagine what the possibilities if these publishers started to care a little for the Switch products. Well, I don't know why. I don't know why you're saying that though. If these publishers, like, there's a lot of publishers that are making. I mean, like, look at all the games that are coming out. We're getting a lot of third-party games. We're not gonna get everything though. That's the thing. Like, we're not gonna get every single game every single time. And let, I mean, that's just not gonna happen. But I mean. I would just say focus on the stuff that is coming, man. Like, a lot of people focus on stuff that's not coming. 
focus on the stuff that is coming. If, if you want whatever the case is, like some stupid Western game, not stupid, some Western game or whatever, then just play it on PS4 and Xbox One if you have to have it. But I mean, the developers that want to put stuff on the Switch will put stuff on the Switch. If they don't, then they don't. And that's just, that's just pretty much how it is, guys. I mean, it's not about, well, imagine if they care. It. Look, dude, they're not, they're not dumb. They're not, a lot of these dudes aren't dumb. If they want to put something in and if it's feasible for them to do it, then they'll do it. Like, it's not because WB is any more intelligent than EA or anything like that. I mean, it might look that way, but it's really just about if I want to or I don't want to. I mean, that's pretty much what, it, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. Like, a lot of these games that I've noticed that come to the Switch, it's only because they want to. They want to. It's it's not even about, I mean, business-wise, obviously, it's that. But is it feasible? And can, can they do it from a tech perspective? Can they do it? Can they get a company to do a good job? And do they want to? Those are the three things that really kind of come. it comes down to. So if a game doesn't come over, it's maybe because they don't they don't feel like doing it. Or they don't feel that they can make a, or the, there's not a panic button available. Or there's not somebody available to make a quality version of the game. Because the last thing you want to do is put out crap. So it's not that some don't care. It's just like, like hey, look, if we can get it done... If it's going to be on time or if it's not going to be too far afterwards to where hype can't go, then it is what it is. But I don't think there's any companies that are like, just like, oh, yeah, just like screw that. It's either just like, hey, we want to or we don't want to, you know. Um, so, yeah. He said, for all the uh, for all the games we still want, I think the industry is giving us a lot at the moment. Dude, the industry is giving us, they're giving us so many games, I can't even keep up. Like, I couldn't even go buy Final Fantasy XII because I still have Dragon's Dogma to play. And then, like, this summer, we're getting God Eater. We're getting AI the Summoning Files. We're getting just, like, all these games. We're getting Dragon Quest Builders 2. We're getting all these games thrown at us. I, I don't even know who has the money for all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, Or not even not the money. Some people do, obviously, right? You know, if you budget, you can pay for a lot of these games. But where's the time? To sit there and constantly play all these freaking Western games, all these Japanese games, and then play games on PS4 and Xbox One. Like, I don't know, I don't know where all the time is for people that are saying, I mean, we need this, 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 this. It's like, do you guys play all the stuff that you guys are even asking for? Because I know I don't. <laughs> you know, like we can ask for all this, 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 and this, and then a lot of times people ask for stuff and don't even play it. So I mean, I'm not saying that it shouldn't come over. Obviously, you want as many games as possible, man, but like we're getting more than we can even handle at this point. Um we're getting more for them than we can even handle, but hey, it is what it is. But I understand, like, from that standpoint, like, hey, you know, like, bringing over, like, Injustice, but I mean, it's just like, you already got Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat's doing very well, I mean, like, do we really need to revisit Injustice? Like, you know, that was, like, years old, like, old fighting game, that's, the community's pretty much dead, you know, it's like, why even spend time and money on an old Injustice port? Like, if, if it's a single player game, I get that. Single player game, like Dragon's Dogma, you know, with some light online stuff, that game's old, but that's like an RPG that's still relevant today. Still relevant because there hasn't been a sequel to Dragon's Dogma. So that makes sense, like an action RPG, but like Injustice or like some type of old fighting game that came out, like on the, you know, that's not new, that doesn't have a community still playing it. I, I think that's just a waste of resources at this point. Like, we just got Mortal Kombat, you know, let's buy that, let's be happy with that. And then maybe if they make a new fighting game then we know they can continue on with that but there's no need to bring old dead fighting games to the switch that aren't going to have a community i mean i don't know in, in my opinion at least i think that money's better spent on getting ready for the next thing you know getting ready for the next game that comes out making sure the next injustice or the next fighting game comes to the switch instead of spending it on that you know because you, you you would have to tweak it kind of bit you know um so yeah uh, let's see here. It's just it's just announcing the game and letting people know it exists. Can't blame fans for not buying your game. They should ask themselves what they did to make it succeed and do better next time. Well, I don't know what you're talking about though. Which one are you talking about? When it comes to like Mortal Kombat, I mean they announced it, they talked about it. It's in the it's in the stuff. I mean it's doing it's doing well. So I don't know if you're talking about other other people's games. I don't know which ones you're talking about though. Um, it would sell one off to bring WB. Okay, hold up, late port. Okay, I already read that. I already read that. Um. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, I can't keep up. I, I can barely keep up. I mean, because, like, you have to go to work, right? You have to go to work. You have to spend time with family, whatever the case is. It's like, where do you have time to play all this stuff? Um, he said, I'm just happy. Uh, I'm just especially happy that Japanese games are back since 2017 in a big way. Um, it's all I'm playing anymore. Yeah, yeah. I think the Japanese industry definitely has some issues here and there, but so does the Western industri industry. But overall, the games are definitely coming back, and they're definitely pre doing, they're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good um let's see here artist life says that's how i feel when people say my switch is collecting dust i can't even keep up with all the switch titles i want i don't know why anybody would say that i mean i don't i don't understand yo what's up sam diaz how, how you doing my boy um i don't even understand that that logic like every every single week there's like a bunch of new games coming out so i mean i don't understand that like logic at all that that doesn't even make sense if your switch is collecting dust then that's on you that's not on the games coming out because 
excuse me, there's a lot of games always coming out. There's a lot of cool games coming out. So it makes sense to me that, you know, that people are playing it. And obviously people are. Um, that's definitely the minority when it comes to switch clicking. That's like so many people are playing it. You see people playing it on planes. You see people playing it, you know, just like hanging out school. People playing it lying down in bed. I mean, it's I don't there's ton, there's tons of games to play. I mean, I don't I don't get it. But hey, if people want to say that, I mean, my PS4 literally sits there and collects dust. I don't play anything on my PS4. But if I said my PS4 is collecting dust, people would be like, oh, well, there's there's this game and there's this game and there's this game. And I'm, you know, I'd never hear the end of it. You know, oh, the Swiss doesn't have one PS4. I mean, people would not shut the hell up if I said that, you know, so. So, yeah. Um, but, no, I literally don't play my PS4 at all. <laughs> like, my PS4 Pro, don't play. It just sits there. Whereas my PS4, I do watch Twitch. I do have a PS4 in my bedroom where I watch Twitch on. So, I do have that. Um, all right. So, let's, shall we move on to the next topic? That was eShop sales charts and other stuff. Let's go to move on to the final topic here before we get to um, the open Q&A. Yo, what's up? Uh, Ryan, is it Ryan Cardio? Ryan Cardio, what's up, man? Um, all right, uh, so apparently Nintendo accidentally leaked, or maybe accidentally leaked, the games, the May Nintendo Online games. So these are maybe the uh, the lineup. Donkey Kong Jr., Choo Choo, was it Clue Clue or Choo Choo? Clue Choo, Clue? Clue Clue? Clue Clue Land? C-L-U-L-U, Clue? Clue Clue Land, not Choo Choo, Clue Clue Land. <laughs> choo choo and versus excite bike well there you go maybe we'll get the official announcement soon it's already may 4th so yeah they usually do it about a week before and then we get it the following week so so yeah looks like it's coming pretty soon here guys uh what do you guys think about these games and i can't wait till we see all the where's the super like, like, like it's like the next thing that people hear where's the super nintendo games super nintendo games so that's all we're gonna hear whenever we talk about nes games is where's the super nintendo games so so there you go. There's that. All right, guys. So if you have questions, I'll be more than happy to answer questions for you guys. So um, go to the chat section. Type in Player Essence, capital P, capital E. Make sure you spell it right. Or hashtag Player Essence or at Player Essence. Tag me and ask me your random questions about gaming. I'll be more than happy to answer those or comments or uh Feedback on certain videos or what you guys want to see, more than happy. Um, game droughts are game droughts aren't a thing. It was so funny because game droughts were such a thing on um, like I guess like the Wii U, because the Wii U has such a sparse release list of, of games. Like this has just been overwhelming. Are you getting a uh, European Seasons of Warfare edition? I just ordered from Amazon UK uh, for the pins uh, that that it has instead of the calendar here in the NA. Um, no, I'm not getting the UK edition. I'm getting just the regular US edition. Um, the Duck Game looks interesting. Your thoughts? I have I got a review code for the Duck Game, but I have not played it yet, and I haven't really watched much of it, so I don't really have too many thoughts about it. Crit Asher says, speaking of which, I know it's off topic. I picked up the physical copy. We're not off topic. We're in Q&A. Um, copy of SteamWorld Dig 2, to be honest. I found this game super addicting. SteamWorld Dig 2 is amazing. That's actually one of my favorite games on the Switch, hands down. And I have, like... I have, lots of let's, I have like a lot of Let's Plays and streams of me playing that game. It's really, SteamWorld Dig 2 is really good. Um, I went Wii U only, no droughts. Part of buying a new console is being open to trying new things. If you're having a game drought, you're not looking hard enough or trying something different. I think that's true. I think that, you're, you're right about that. You're right about that. Um, do you think Edelgard is their main character in Fire Emblem Three Houses? Edelgard is the main character? No, the main character is your own Blythe or whatever his name, whatever his name is. Blah, 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 blah. That's the main character. Um, in terms of the other three houses, I don't think it's. I think it's going to be equal among them. So I don't think there's any more one main than the other. I think they're all the mains. Um, Donald Anderson says, "Do you think Sega should hire more fans to make games than they did with Sonic Mania? Than they did with Sonic Mania? No, nah, not really. I don't think that should become like a normal. Blythe. Blythe. How do you say his name? Blythe. Blythe. Well, that's such a weird name." Um, let's see here. No, I don't think they should really hire a bunch of like fans to make games. I mean, they should just do a better job of like themselves. I mean, because obviously, like then it starts to get embarrassing, right? If you start hiring a bunch of fans to make games and their games are better, it's like okay, hold up here. They're not the ones who are the 
game developers. You got to work on your own craft. That's what I'm trying to say. You got to work on your own craft. So I think the whole Sonic Mania stuff, buy left. Buy left. Okay, buy left. Buy left. I, I don't like that name at all. Buy left. <laughs> I really don't like that name. But either way, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's just the name. Um, so, yeah, I don't really think it's a good idea. I mean, I think it's cool for, like, the whole Sonic Mania. You keep it in that line. But I don't think they should just start hiring a bunch of fans for games and stuff like that. That's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Um, Edmonton says, Parsons, which Fire Emblem remakes would you like on the Switch? Yeah, I think that's a good question. Um, I loved all the ones that didn't come over to the U.S., like the like the ones from like the Super Nintendo and stuff like that. I love like Geology of the Holy War. I would like like um, uh, I like the the book one and two. I like all that stuff, all that stuff that didn't come over. Obviously, Awakening would be great. You know, Fire Emblem Awakening would be awesome to have on the Switch. So so yeah. Um. <clears throat> Any other questions, guys? I know you guys got more. I'll read, I'll scroll back up to see if I missed any. Could you see Street Fighter V Arcade come to the Switch? No, because there's a deal with Sony in order to make that a, a what's it called a PS4 console exclusive. So no, that's why I, that's why Street Fighter V is not on the Xbox either. Let's see, uh, Karam says, uh, why uh, why are a lot of Wii U games um, at about 20 to 40 bucks, but Xenoblade X and Tokyo Mirage Sessions are still 60 on the eShop? It's because those games, a lot of Wii U games are already on the Switch and are not as valuable as Tokyo Mirage Sessions and Xenoblade Chronicles X. That's the reason why. Yo, what's up, Big Z? How you doing today, my man? Doing good, doing good. Good to see you here. Oh, also shout outs to I think it's Greg, Greg J nine eight nine. Thank you so much, Greg J. I appreciate the um, the Twitch follow. Appreciate the Twitch follow. Welcome to the Fire Nation, my boy. Um, I did see the DM. I just have I was did I see the DM, dude? I get so many DMs, man. Um, sorry, it's just hard for me to keep up with everything. I'll check it out, dude. It might have got buried under all the DMs that I get. A better way to tag me, a better way to do it, dude, guys, if you guys just tag me on Twitter, don't, don't DM me. If you have a question, like, don't, don't DM me the question, because I might not see it, because I'm not trying to check that, like, there's too many. Um, and then sometimes I put Mark is all, like, Mark, Mark Reds, like, Mark is all red or whatever. Um, so just tag me on Twitter, and that's a better way um, about stuff. So who would you, uh, so who improved the most from yesterday, Smash? I, I think I improved the most from yesterday, Smash. Here's the reason why, and I'm not trying to be cocky or nothing. Here's the reason why I say I think I improved the most. Because before with Joker, I had a hard time even, like, touching Party Man. And this time I actually was able to make the sets more competitive against his Peach. Um, I still having issues, like, I couldn't really beat his Inkling. But it was a little bit better than what it was before. Um, so I think I improved the most from there. But Joker's a new character, so I had a lot more room to improve, whereas Inkling and all that has already been out. So I think I think I improved the most. Um, but only with Joker, not necessarily like overall. I think everybody's game is improving equally. We're all going up better and better and better. I think Party Man's getting a lot better with his Inkling. I think his Inkling's better than what it was, you know, before. So I think his, his Inkling has even gotten better. I think his inkling is even getting it's his inkling might even be getting closer to Peach, where it's like you know right there, which is big because his inkling was nowhere near as good as his Peach, and now I think it's leveling out a lot better um, or a lot more. So I think Party Man definitely made a big strides with inkling. I think um, uh, I think uh, who else was I playing against? Um, I think Chuba did really like his Wolf is looking really good. Um, Wolf looking, I know he's got he's gotten a lot better with Wolf. Um, so that's looking really good. Um, I think a lot of guys are getting better, you know. Um, I think Gunslinger, his, his Mario's still kind of going, you know. His Mario's getting a bit better from playing with us and playing the games. Um, so uh, VC was, I mean, I, don't, I didn't, I mean, <laughs> VC's got some work to do, but he's still, you know, he's still there. <laughs> you know, he's, he's, he's still there. He's still there. So, I mean, 
it's uh, we all got work to do though. We all got work to do. I think a lot of guys are getting better and everything. So it was it was it was good. It was it was good matches. <laughs> I got, as soon as, I, I had to, I got put in a bad spot right now because I had to say something, because obviously he plays with us a lot, but I had to say something, but I can't lie, you know, <laughs> so, like... so no, we're all getting, no, he's getting better, he's getting better too, we're all, we're all getting better, we're all, we're all getting better, we're all getting better, so, so yeah, that's kind of what it comes down to, what's up bro, this is the first P live of the day, I got no, I got no notification, uh, I did not take, no, I did not take a shot at VC. No, I did not take a shot at VC. But VC was asking us, like, what can I do to get, like, what can I do to be less predictable and all that? So it wasn't any shot, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't any, it wasn't any shot at VC. It was just, you know, it was just like, bro, I mean, like, I'm not seeing, I want to see a little bit more progression. Like, when we play, I want to see a little bit more, you know? Like, I want to see some games being taken. You know, when we go mains, you know, I want to see, okay. You know, like, my Dr. Mario shouldn't be ever beating VC's King K rule because that's his main. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want to see that where it's like where I actually win with that character. You know, like, that's the thing. Um, like, because Dr. Mario is garbage. So, well, he's not garbage. He's just not good. Like, if I'm using Mario, then that's okay. But Dr. Mario, no. You know, so that's all I want to see. I just want to see uh, a little bit better to where, you know, to where he doesn't lose in those type of situations. Um, then again, I mean, heck, my Joker lost to, you know, Abaddon's Kirby just because I just wasn't blocking anything. Uh, but then I won the next one. So, or the first two or whatever, or the three that we played. So anybody can lose at any point. But I got I got to do better too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to do a lot better as well. So um, let's see here. You said this man VC instant transmissioned over to the stream when you mentioned that. This man was on, what was, he was on that, uh, this man was on that planet. What's that planet that, that Goku learned instant transmission? That man was just like, huh? <laughs> just, just. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did see Avedon smash clip, uh, smash clip on, on Twitter. I did. Yeah. That, I mean, yesterday there was this, there was this stupid, uh, Yard, 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 Yard or whatever. Yeah. Yard, he was on, he was like, huh? Learn instant transmission. Um, no, but uh, yeah, there was this idiot. There was this idiot, uh, Simon, that was tea. Like I couldn't block any of the projectiles online because of the input delay. And there was this idiot Simon that was teabagging me, and I almost came back and beat him. He was up three to one at one point, and I almost come, came back and beat him. And he was teabagging the whole time. And then of course he leaves. And then of course he doesn't rematch me. I'm like, okay, I've adjusted to the lag. Let me see if I can get this W because I was playing Joker yesterday. And of course he leaves. He just he just teabags and leaves. It's just like such a God. There's such a bunch of frauds on Elite Smash, man. Um, so yeah, uh, I am a major project, but I still wanted to play with the ninjas. So a bit more serious to get good. Yeah. Be more. Uh, I got some, I got some tips for you, man. Now that I can speak normally, I got some tips for you, dude. Your Samus is are too erratic. Your Sam, your zero suit is too erratic. You're, you're doing too many unsafe moves. Um, no, you don't need to do like the down, the down A's, how she like slams all the way down on the ground. Like just fast fall down to the ground. You know, or if you want to come down with an aerial, just come down with a back air or a forward air with the nair because you leave yourself open way too much. So that's my biggest thing that I that I would like for you to do going forward is to stop doing the down A's back down to the ground. Like that's that's too much. That's the one thing that I would say. Um, it's it's really predictable, and it and it's and I I think I counted, dude. I punished you multiple times after it. So just let's start there. And I think you're going to improve your, you're, you're going to see if you stop doing that so many times, you're going to see how much better your game improves. Now, another thing that you need to do is that you learn, you need to learn how to flip kick to recover. Okay. So Samus, her recovery is interesting because she has multiple ways to recover. She obviously, she has one of the best second jumps in the game. So you really should never, unless you get gimped, you should never really SD or fall to your death with Samus because she has just amazing recovery. She has a flip kick. She has an amazing second jump where she flies sky high into the air on her second jump, okay? And then she also has, um, she has the up B, but then she also has a tether recovery with her, with her whip, you know? And that's just like the Z button. Uh, that's the, her grab, basically. So whatever button you have mapped to grab, she has that. So you can tether and grab back, you can flip kick, 
and then you can up B. There's all sorts of ways for you to get back to the stage, so you should never SD. So here's the two things that you should do. Practice just fast falling, so double click or holding down or double clicking on the control stick to go down fast, right? F practice that after you get hit into the air, and then practice not like recovering so go into the practice mode go on battlefield and then practice doing your um what is what is the flip kick i think it's side b something like that or is it up b or no no down b down b then practice pressing down b and flip kicking back to the stage and then recovering that way okay you do that you're going to be in a much better those two things that you're going to be in a much better spot um five nights and friends what's good man um so yeah down B, yeah, down B for flip kick. There you go, down B for flip kick. Side B is the, the paralyzer, whip, which is actually really good. That, that kills now, which is good. Uh, yeah, more my King K rule cycling through Chupa and be more Akuma yesterday. Oh, well, yeah, I definitely need to want my King K rule to lose to your Dr. Mario. Yeah, exactly. You shouldn't lose to my Dr. Mario. Although, like I said, Dr. Mario is strong, you know? So it's not like, it's not like, you know, oh, you lost to a Dr. Mario. That's a problem. Oh, ooh. It's not, it's not even like that. Dr. Mario is actually, like, he's super strong. And you guys know how ultimate is. Like, Dr. Mario can hit you three times, and you're, like, at 70% damage. You know, he can, he he hits like a truck. So it's not like, you know, it's a pro, like too much of a problem or anything, you know? Um, so, yeah. Um, I know, really, uh, one of the reasons why I got into this game is because one of, your, uh, one of the YouTubers who got me into it. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Cardastra. Yo, uh, what's up? Uh, what's up, Arash? How's it going? Shout out to Crispy Chicken Tenders. Um, um, let's see here. Uh, any other questions? Let's see. Uh, All right. <laughs> y'all talk, talk about VC Magic reappeared as soon as he said his name. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Oh my gosh, Doc's actually not bad in the game, pretty decent. Um, uh, he, he's uh, uh, C tier, you know, C ish, which is not bad. C tier is viable, so you're right, you're right. He's not horrible in the game. C tier is definitely viable, so yeah, so yeah, I shouldn't say. It. I just think that Mario is just so much better because of the mobility, you know, and like Doctor Mario's recovery is bad. Like Doctor Mario's recovery is really bad. Like it's. Man, it's bad. I really hate Dr. Mario's recovery. It's so, like, you feel lethargic out there. It's like, what you got underneath all those lab coats? Like, weights? Like, this man out here looking like, like, Rock Lee. He's like, he's like, guy, guy, sensei, can I take off the weights? He's like, Maito, Lee, no! Then, like, take off the freaking coat, drop freaking a million pound weights on this dude, man. Like, why is he so heavy? Like, slow. The stethoscope or whatever, that little heart thing is just, bruh, it's weighted. Um, let's see, who's, um, who's B recovery is worse, Dr. Mario or Belmont's? Um, Dr. Mario, the B recovery? Um, what's it called? Uh, Belmont's recovery goes up higher than Dr. Mario's up B. The Bel Belmont's, reco Belmont's recovery goes up higher than Dr. Mario. You get more vertical length on the Belmont's recovery, they're up, you're talking about just, just the up B by itself, Belmont's have a better up B, it goes up higher than Dr. Mario's from what I understand, from what I, I think it goes up higher, um, Dr. Mario's up B is way worse than, yeah, that's what I thought, Dr. Mario's up B is way worse than the Belmont's, the thing with Dr. Mario is that Dr. Mario has a, uh, Dr. Mario has a second jump, he has a tornado that he can do, which gets you height, and then he has his up B that he can do to help out. But you have to freaking mash a tornado, and then there's ending lag after the tornado, so then you're gonna drop a little bit, and then you up B. So like it's like you have to think too much when when we're covering with Dr. Mario at times. That's all. Yeah, you have to use his down B first, his tornado, then you have to up B. So. Blaze uh, Bradley said, or Bradley says, "What's your favorite character in Fire Emblem Awakening?" Lucina. I think uh, I've talked about that multiple times. Lucina. Um, Dustin Dustin says, "Players, I want to get better at Smash. Do you um, only play with elite people?" Um, yeah, yeah, I only play with um, elite ninja here. But you're an elite ninja, so you're a super elite ninja. You're a Hokage tier, so you're more than welcome to come and get, um, you know, a lot of matches against us. So I'm gonna start streaming for longer. Like uh, yesterday, we streamed for six. We streamed six hours of Smash, and everybody got tons of games in. So feel free, Dustin. Um, make sure you have those notifications set, ready to go, 
and um, come play with us um, when it comes to things. So yeah, uh, come play, and uh, we'll be more than happy to make you better at Smash. And then there's usually like open lobbies, like with some of the other guys, so you can play with like Party Man or VC. They'll like whenever it's not their turn or Chuba, they'll open up a lobby, and then you can play with them too, so then they can help you out, or you can get better there. Um, they'll tell you what you need to do, or if if you want the help, that is, you know. So yeah, absolutely. Like, Be More Akuma came and played with us yesterday, right? And I gave him some good tips, and I guarantee you the tips that I gave him is going to make him a better player, right? That Easy. Free. Um, let's see. I meant player skill-wise. Hold up. I want to get better. Do you only play with Elite? Oh, oh, skill-wise. No, no, no. Oh, you meant skill-wise. No, no. I play with everybody. I play with... Even if you're not as good as... Not as skilled. Because, I mean, if you want to be... You know, like I said, not trying to rank anybody here or anything like that. But if you want to be... I mean, like... Me and Party Man are about the same skill, and Chuba's right around there, too. We're probably all about the same skill, and everybody else that plays with us is maybe a bit below. Um, and I'll play against... I don't only play against Chuba and Party Man, you know? Um, I play against everybody. I play against everybody. So, you know, if, if you want to get better at the game, and if I realize that your skill's not there, sometimes I, you know, I'll do things like, you know, I might, I'll not sandbag, but I'll, like... I'll try to let you play enough to where like you can play. Like I'm not just gonna sit there and body you the whole time, you know. Um, I I will like I'll be like okay that's not safe, or I'll be like okay hold up you're gonna get punished here, or I'll you know I'll say certain things that's gonna help you out and get better, you know. So so yeah, I don't only play with people that are just super good or whatever or at my skill level, you know, I, or elite or whatever elite smash, you know. I'll play with people that are not as good and I'll help you get better in that way. I'll pick probably a character that's not my main. You know, and um, we'll go from there. And then I'll give you tips after we're done. Like, hey, this is what you can do. This is what you're not doing. Uh, this is what you can do with this character. Because I pretty much know, I know how to use, I don't know how to use every character, but I'm familiar with a lot of the characters. But I don't, I mean, I know what the, that I know what that character should be doing because I watch good players use that character. But that doesn't mean I know how to use them, but I watch other people that know how to use that character. So I know what they should be doing for the most part. So, yeah. Um... Pavas and Freddy says, I'm going to be an elite ninja soon so I can get bopped. Hey, man, I'm telling you one thing. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something. And I'm dead I'm dead serious with this one here, guys. I swear I used to beat Party Man and Chuba. And Chuba every, I used to beat the hell out of them. Like, <laughs> seriously, in Smash 4, I used to beat the hell out of them every single time. <laughs> like, barely there'd be times that they would win, but I literally used to beat the hell out of them every single time. And now they actually win. They actually beat me in games when we play. It's it's actually it's actually not bad. But in Smash Four, I used to literally beat the beat the brakes out of them with Sheik in Smash Four. <laughs> like, it was bad, and they just kept playing. And kept playing, and they started learning more. They started watching, and started getting better because, like, when you when you get beat like that, you're like, man, I want to get better. What do I need to do? So then you start watching your character. You start getting more into it, you know. And then when you start watching, when you combine playing with people that are, you know, um, that can help you, you combine that with actually watching tournament play every now and then. You know, weekends just have, relax, go get a pizza or whatever the case is. Relax, watch some good tournament plays. You get better. You you'll just get better, and it'll transfer over to the next game because. Party Man and Chuba were instantly better at the start of Ultimate than they were at at the end of Smash 4. They were instantly better in Smash Ultimate than they were in Smash 4, despite Smash 4 being out way longer. They were already better by, by playing with me. By playing with me, they were already better. By the time Ultimate came out, they took off. They hit the ground running, you know? So, so yeah. Um... Also, are you uh, what do you, what are you going to expect in Fire Emblem Expo event? I have no idea about the Fire Emblem Expo, man. I mean, we'll see what happens though. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> Dave Game says, "Sorry, players have to step out." Uh, what's up with the NES games? There's going to be probably uh, Donkey Kong Jr., Cuckoo Land, and Doc or sorry, and versus Excite Bike coming up. Um, Charity Scott says, what's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite game of 2018? My favorite game of 2018, I guess, is Smash Brothers or Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. One of those two games were probably my favorite. Probably both of them. They're tie. Tie for game of the year for me. After getting destroyed by OJ, I really got invested into competitive Smash 4 and I improved that way. Exactly. Uh, I want to play Smash. It seems like a, uh, completely, I want to play Smash. It seems like a completely different game when you play, when I play versus you compared to Chupa, Party Man, and other brothers and gals. Uh, it just depends, man. It depends. There's some people that have, like, that can read read players a, a bit more than others when it comes to things, when it comes to just stuff. So you just have to just keep playing, man. 
just have to keep playing and just uh, continue going there, and, and you'll you'll figure it out. Obviously, you know. Um, let's see. Um, I know two characters worst ones: Incineroar and Little Mac. Incineroar is not bad. Incineroar's up B is better than Doctor Mario's up B. It actually it goes up higher if you're talking about the recovery. It goes up high. Doctor Mario's up B, dude. He this dude moves like a couple inches, and he's like, yeah. Doctor Mario's up B is like might be the it's one of the worst, if not the worst, up B in the game. <laughs> like Doctor Mario's up B is really bad. It's really bad. It might be the worst in the game. I don't know. Maybe Little Mac. I think I think even though Little Mac's up B goes up higher than Doctor Mario's, I think Doctor Mario's up B might be the worst in terms of length. It might be the worst up B recovery in the game. Um, yeah, bro, it's hard to read your moves compared to their moves. Eh, I move a bit differently at times. Have, but let me ask you a question, though. Do you consistently beat Party Man's Peach? Or do, is it, like, do you not, do you not, or do you, are you, or is it just more competitive games when you play against him when it comes to me? Um, Dustin G says, did you see, uh, did you see Suda 51 announcing something at Momocon? Yeah, we talked about that um last uh in like one of the other pe lives i remember we talked about that so we'll have to wait and see what he announces absolutely uh, absolutely no i think little max is better than dr mark that's what i said i think little max is better than dr mark i think dr mark might have the worst up b in the game it's not the height that i makes instead of recovery bad it's the dive well the whole thing yeah that's true but i mean you're gonna sd anyway so that the dive doesn't really matter all that matters is how high do you go up you know what I'm saying? The dive doesn't matter because if you're up B when you're not on stage and after your up B is done, you go into free fall. So him doing the dive, that doesn't matter. That actually doesn't matter at all. All that does is get his up B recovery more side length to where you can, you don't have to be, compl like, let's say like, you know, you're recovering this way. Up B goes like that. So with, with Incineroar, all the dive does is make it to where you can now recover a little bit more off to the side. So you can go like that, you know, Dr. Mario's recovery there's barely any height on it. Yeah, it goes up at an angle, but there's barely any height on it. So it actually makes it, I think Dr. Mario's recovery, in terms of his up B only, is worse than Incineroar's. Like, it, it's actually worse. I, I'd rather take Incineroar's up B than Dr. Mario's up B, believe it or not. I mean, and I know Incineroar's is not great, you know, but um, at the same time, like, it's, I think it's still better than Dr. Mario's. Dr. Mario's is up B is just so bad because you have to combine it with the tornado. So, so yeah. Um, let's see, I consistently beat uh, Chew was Wolf yesterday with King K. Rule um, for a while, but he always has those close, uh, even and close matches for party member, but mostly even overall. Okay. Dude, I'm telling you, King K rule, man. That King K, that online King K rule, because I think they they probably try to punish like the they try to punish punish stuff, and then you do a little where you body slam them. That, dude, that is so hard to catch online. Like there is a small. Uh, <laughs> Chuma says, "Not nah, VC. I usually bop you." <laughs> Chuma, you're saying, "Wait a minute." Hey, we need, can we see some We need to see some receipts now. Let's see the receipts, Chuma. <laughs> said it's mostly even she was said bro what you talking about <laughs> oh okay okay he said it. he said that was um that's what i did uh all day yesterday oh well, bro you, you friend chuba he said i got receipts okay he's talking about yesterday chuba i think he's talking about yesterday only he's talking about yesterday only um i kept i kept dying at 50 from king k rule down smash yeah yeah okay he's talking about yesterday normally yeah okay okay there you go there you go yeah that that king k rule down at the at the edge of the screen that king k rule down smash will kill you literally like at like 50 percent, 50 to 40 percent so uh arrest says fire uh when fire emblem and marvel ultimate alliance 3 come out is that going to be limit you from playing smash uh yeah obviously i'm not gonna be able to play smash as much but we're still going to have our dedicated days to play. Um, Dustin G says, in your opinion, from 1 to 10, what's the best character? Um, let me look at a tier list so then I can look, or the characters, just so I can look and see maybe what I think. I need a tier list. Oh. I'm going to make a tier list at some point. All right. So from 1 to 10... Um, I'd probably put like, I'd probably say it's probably very similar to this tier list right here. 
but I'm not 100% sure. Like, it's probably very similar to this. So, like, Peach, Peach, Pichu, Lucina, Inkling here. But I'd probably take, like, these are all top top 10. Yeah, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, so, I'd probably, but mine would be a little bit different. I would probably put Snake up here somewhere. Maybe I'd put Inkling and put Inkling down one. Or put Ike down one. But I'd put Snake in here as a top character. Um, and uh, that's about, I mean, in terms of my top 10, yeah. I, I might remove either, I might, I'll probably remove Ike from the top 10. And put in... And put in Snake instead of Ike in the top ten. So I'd probably put Snake, but my my top ten would probably be something like this: Peach, Daisy, uh, Pichu, Lucina, um, Inkling, Pikachu, Wolf, Olimar, Palutena, Fox, and then like Snake. And those, those that, that would probably be like my my top ten. And then Ike would be like right there, right on, like interchangeable, you know, when it when it comes down to it. Yeah, but that, that's probably my my top ten. Yeah. Uh, Wolf is top tier. He is. Wolf is top. It says Wolf is top tier. I don't put... I think I think the, the characters that they had above Wolf right there, I think he is above... He's not... I don't think Wolf is as good as Pichu, Peach, Daisy, Lucina, Inkling, or or uh, Pikachu. I don't think... Because well, his recovery. His, the, the recovery is the biggest problem with Wolf. All those characters have way better recoveries. Although Pichu is super light, but Pichu kills you... Pichu can kill, Pichu's hard as hell to hit. He can lightning loop you. So, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and go with, with those characters. I think Wolf is right, right below that. But, I mean, I can see why maybe Wolf would be, like, above Inkling. Yeah. So, I can maybe see that. But I don't think Wolf is quite S tier. In my opinion, I think he's, like, right underneath that S tier. But I can see why people put him S tier. Yeah. I can see that. Um, but I, I, I can definitely see why people. I, I'm not opposed to people saying that Wolf is S tier you know, in the game, which I guess that top tier would be S tier. Um, although I don't like the way this is worded top tier, high tier, plus high tier, high tier, like minus that's stupid. It should just be S A B C. Like this is so dumb. High tier minus high tier, high tier plus but who, who that's a, that's such a stupid way of, of putting a tier list. It's just S A B C. That's how you should do it. You should not do high, high, three different types of high tier. Like what the hell? Just put, just put like A B C dude. Um, S A B C. Um, Wolf's up B is just twice as good as Dr. Mario's up B. Wolf's up B is actually, it, it's, I think it goes a little bit further. And of course, it's just a better up B in general. So yeah, but Wolf also has the side B to recover. But Wolf's, Wolf's recover like Wolf's recovery is just not good. It's just, I, I don't think it's a great recovery. And Wolf is slow. Another problem with Wolf is he's just actually really slow. The, uh, the good things about Wolf, though, is he has a blaster that's amazing. And he also has, uh, he has just great tools, great uh, frame data in terms of what he can do. Great nair, uh, great up air, great tilts. Like, every, all of his moves are good, pretty much. He doesn't really have any bad, good smash attacks, good up smash, good side smash, good down smash, good up air, good good nair, good fair, good back, his back air kills. Like, every his whole tool set is good. Combos, he has a reflector. He's just a very difficult character to deal with overall. Um... Is Young Link top tier? Young Link is definitely a high tier character. I, I'd say Young Link is like an A tier, A tier character. Absolutely. Um, Young Link and Link, I, both of them are A tier characters. In my opinion, they're both A tier characters. Young Link and regular Link. Or sorry, yeah, regular Link and Young Link, both A tier characters. I think two Link's maybe a B or C tier. Uh, Alf got to be number two. Um, I think Olimar is definitely a top five, for sure. Top five, yeah, absolutely. 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 Uh, all right, guys. Any other questions? Um, let's see. Nax is Andre, uh, Andres restart would be hype for Leon S. Kennedy as DLC. So I told him, what the hell, my alarm? I told him that you uh, you would be you would be hyped from two in a live stream. Leon S. Kennedy would be S tier. I don't know if Leon S. Kennedy is S tier because Joker is not S tier. So why would Leon S. Kennedy be S tier? Give me one second, guys. Let me let me arm my alarm. I forgot to alarm my alarm. It starts going, it starts acting nutty. All right, guys, uh, we've been talking for a while. Two hours went by just like that. 
Um, if you guys have more questions, feel free to ask the questions. We got about eight more minutes left for the stream. So feel free to ask some questions if you guys got them. And I will answer some questions for you guys. Um, so yeah, keep it going. Um, it's 4.15 and I probably only need about an hour break till the spawn cast. So, I mean, I don't mind playing like some Smash or something. I, but I don't know if I, we can, I don't think we'll have enough time to do user battles though. Because I'd have to log off at 5. So, I mean, I mean, after we're done with the PE Live, I mean, there's a couple different ways that we can just... I can play Elite Smash or till 5, or I can just, like, answer questions till 5, or I can just stay on. But I don't know how many people... I don't know what you guys want, so... Uh, but, yeah, but I, I wouldn't be able to play user matches, though, because then we wouldn't have enough time to get through everybody, like, who would want to play and everything, because I'd have to stop by 5 so I can take a little bit of a break before the spawn cast, so... Um, tonight, I'm going to play Dragon's Dogma. After the podcast... I'm going to play Dragon's Dogma after the podcast because I need to play that because I haven't played it in a day or two. So I need to play that because we played Smash yesterday. So Dragon's Dogma after the pod or after the spawn cast tonight, Dragon's Dogma. Prob probably, probably for like a few hours, a couple hours or so. Then we'll probably play Smash. We might play Smash tomorrow. We might not. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm pretty busy tomorrow, to be honest. Mm. OJ, my man, give me some quick tips for Pokemon Trainer and Smash. Uh, know how to play Ivasaur. Learn Ivasaur. If, uh, if you're not good with Ivasaur, then you're not a Pokemon trainer, man. Um, Ivasaur is definitely the Pokemon that you need to learn. Throw Razor Leafs. When you hit somebody with the Razor Leaf, you can combo that into, um, like, I think a fair or so. Um, so, uh, throw Razor Leafs. Once you hit them with that Razor Leaf, it pops them up. You can maybe even get a grab at low percentages. But other than that, you can get some fares. Because usually what's going to happen is that somebody's going to... I'll get that donation in just a bit. Usually what's going to happen is that you throw a Razor Leaf at somebody. If you hit them, you can run up, maybe get a dash attack, or you can get something else with it. Um, but usually what they do is if they jump over it, you can just get a fare. Because you, like your whips, your Vine Whip is going to be... It's going to outrange them. So even if they jump and do something, you, you can outrange them with your whip. So um, just jump up and hit them with that. So throw Razor Leaf and then do that. Also, another thing is, like, try to avoid, I just said dash attack, but try to avoid doing dash attacks with Ivasaur. They're really laggy and uh, bad. Um, Ivasaur has a really good down air for catching people on, like, the ledge. So, if somebody's trying to get back to the ledge, if you short hop, not I don't think a short hop, it won't come out. But if you full hop and then, basically, uh, down air, you can sometimes catch people uh, trying to catch, uh, like, a two frame because it has a lot of active hitboxes with this down air you can catch people with that one that uh that one as well but the main thing the main tool with, uh with ivasaur is razor leaf uh charizard there's varying degrees of what people th how good charizard is but a lot of people use charizard as like a kamikaze dude so basically you know when you need to get that kill charizard has an up throw that kills if you're on platforms you can bash them off the top platform um or you can do your side b but just remember if if they block the side b it leaves you right well open for a punish uh, but the thing about Charizard is that he has a really good uh, fast frames after his Nair. So if you press the Nair where he does like a little thing, you can mash the A button and he'll do attacks right away. So sometimes you can punish people trying to shield grab you or, or other things like that. But there is ending lag after that last third hit. So keep that in mind. Uh, Squirtle, really good combo potential. Um, I like to grab and then start it off with some like Nair, like down throw Nairs, stuff like that with Squirtle. His back air is good. Down air is good. It has like a lot of hits on there. So people will sometimes drop shield or you'll shield poke him with uh with squirtle so try to rack up combos to about maybe 40 60 percent switch to ivasaur once you have ivasaur in finish the kill or if you can't finish the kill switch to charizard get the big hit in so that's kind of how i use pokemon trainer uh shout out to fury tiger with the doll donation it says hockey time enjoy the spawn cast everyone shout out to fairy tiger thank you so much i appreciate the multiple donations tonight man i really do thank you so much fairy tiger um Lion Star says how was your day today it's been good how was your day um let's see here do you still play Mario Kart 8 with the lead ninja? Yeah, we're going to get back to Mario Kart 8, guys. Don't worry. We are going to get back to Mario Kart 8. Um, can we get a quick Sega rant? No more Sega rants. I've talked about Sega like 5 million times this week already. No more Sega rants. Uh, you can't play Dragon's Dogma. You hate Capcom and love Sega. I never said that's. I never even said that. Uh, Nag says, which company do you think is more likely to have a character represented in DLC? Double Fine or Bethesda? Uh, probably Bethesda, but I don't think either one's going to have one. Um, let's see here. Thanks for the tips. See you on the spawn cast. All right, shout outs, man. Um, no problem. Hey, you know one thing. You know another way to get better, Matt. Here's the shill. Here's the shill essence coming on right here. Hey, man, you play against us. You bring out that Ivasaur. Uh, we can do Ivasaur dittos, and I can, I can, I can definitely help you out even a lot more from there as well in terms of that. So consider it. Consider becoming an elite ninja playing Smash against us, my boy. Uh, we'll definitely get you. We'll, we'll whip that uh, Ivasaur into shape. 
or that that Pokemon trainer into shape, my boy. Get you to. Are, are you in Elite Smash already, uh, Matt? With with your Pokemon trainer, are you in Elite Smash yet? Um, how about switching between characters with Pokemon Trainer? Different in Ultimate than Brawl? Absolutely. Switching in switching in Ultimate is so much better. There's no there's no um there's no cooldown. Like or there's no fatigue meter. Like in Smash Brawl, the Pokemon had fatigue meters. Like after like a couple minutes, like they get tired and do less damage, so you have to switch them. But in Ultimate, that's not the case. And the switch is faster too. There's less like it's it's like quick. You can do it at any point, and then, like, there was, like, timers in Brawl, right? Like, you have to, like, wait a certain amount of time before you can switch to the next one. Like, this one, bam, you can just switch, switch, switch. It's quick. It's, ten, it's like, a million times better. Uh, not yet. Just started working on it this week. All right. There you go. It's all good, my, my boy, Matt. Come back when you're ready, my, my dude, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be here waiting for you, ready to get better. It's all good. Um, let's see here. Joker's recovery is so much better than it should be. Well, wait, wait a minute. So much better than it should be. Why should it not be as good as it is? That's what I want to know. Joker's an agile, quick, fast character with good jumping skills and everything. In, in in Persona 5, he's a quick, fast character that can jump from high heights and can can do all sorts of stuff. Why is his recovery? Why should his recovery be worse? That's what I want to know. Um, what about Cup? What about Cuphead? You're saying what about Cuphead? What what about it? I never I never committed to like. Do like a complete or full playthrough of Cuphead from what I remember. I, I never said that. So if you're saying like, well, what, are you going to do more Cuphead? I never said that I'd be like, do like a ton of Cuphead or beat the whole game. I don't remember. That. I know I said Dragon's Dogma, I'm going to do my best, but I don't remember. Maybe I did say it, but if I did, there's just too many games. Too many games, man. Too many games. All right. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this one here in terms of the podcast uh, with uh, talking about things. Um, I wish you can stay on, uh, you can stay as one Pokemon the whole time as PT trainer. Yeah, I think they should be able to make it to where you just use one Pokemon and you don't have the other Pokemon. I think since all the Pokemon, since you don't lose fatigue and all that, then there, I mean, I don't understand why there's not, um, in Brawl, I understand why you have to switch because of the mechanics, but in this game, there's no fatigue. You can literally just sit there and use the same Pokemon the whole time. So I don't know why they just can't, to where you just can't pick one Pokemon and just, you know, just use that Pokemon and not have other, like, pick your loadout, you know? I don't know why you can't, since there's no really, there's no mechanics that tie into it, you know, when it comes down to it. Outside of competitively killing a certain Pokemon, right, and then forcing you to switch to the other one. So that's the only thing that I can think of, but that seems like a little bit to me, like, petty. It's like, okay, whatever, like, that... Yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, I got the Ivasaur off. Now he's on his Charizard. Let me try to beat the crap out of this Charizard, you know, in the meantime. But at the, but at the same time, like, if you if you get the kill, you're invulnerable. And while you're invulnerable at the beginning, you can just switch to whatever Pokemon. You have enough time to switch to whatever Pokemon you want. So, uh, so I mean, I get it. But at the same time, it's like, I don't see why you just don't have the option for that, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, more talking in the Spawncast. Uh, players, uh, do I just DM you your uh, my friend code? Uh, just um, I'm gonna turn on Smash or I'm gonna turn on a Smash right now, so I'm gonna play um, uh, that. But yeah, you want to DM me the friend code? Um, DM me it on um, if you here's here's another thing that you can do. Um, Dustin, just come out to the stream. We're probably gonna we might play Smash tomorrow. If not tomorrow, we'll play it Monday. And just come to the stream and then just uh, you just put me your code in the in the chat section. Or you can put the code, like when we do the signups, because you have to sign up on on, um, on Discord. Make sure you have the Discord logged in and the sign up. And then you just put your, uh, say, oh, when you go to the sign up, just put your friend code in there. Uh, so there's a couple different ways. So when we play, just do it then, because otherwise I'm going to forget. So just do just do it when we actually play or when you're ready to play. Just go ahead and hit me up with that friend code uh, on a stream. You can put it in the chat or you can uh, DM it to me either way when we're playing. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, um. I guess I can stream some Smash. I'm going to stream some Smash till 5. Um, probably do Elite Smash. Uh, so we're going to switch over to that. Um, I'm not going to change the title or anything. like. Or actually, no, I'll, I'll probably change the title. Or people are going to get pissed. Like, oh, this is not PE Live. Where's this? So I'm going to change the title real quick, guys. I'm not going to take any breaks. We're just going to go. We're going to get right into it. Um, so let me just change the title on here. I just don't have anything to do till the spawn cast, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh... no user battles because 
I don't have enough time because I'm only gonna stream till five. So that's not enough time to get enough I get enough quality user battles in. So so no, nah, no user battles right now just because like I have to go by five. So that's only gonna be thirty minutes. That's not enough time. Like one set can take like can take like fifteen minutes. You know what I'm saying? I guess especially if we go to the wire wire each game or if it's like really close, like each game, it's gonna take so I'd only get through like one, maybe two people before I have to go. Because uh, I'm going to take about an hour break before the spawn cast. Because I'm going to stream later tonight, Dragon's Dogma. So. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, let me change the thumbnail real quick. But, yeah, we're going to play. We're going to play user battles probably. If not tomorrow, we'll play user battles on Monday. And we'll play, like, we'll stream for, like, a long time like we did before. So, you're going to get a ton of sets in, you know. I just don't want to do user battles and then, like, nobody really, then people don't get their sets in, you know. That's the only problem that I don't, you know, when it comes down to it. Uh, what's up, Dorkman? How you doing today, my man? Good to see you here. I got the thumbnail changed. this labo video too <laughs> every time that i see that damn labo thing on my screen man it reminds me about that labo video that i got i still gotta make oh gosh i gotta get that done today or tomorrow night probably have it for you guys monday i guess oh just fears my stage selection for their flag football wait what do you what do you talk about dorkman what happened? Oh, what the hell? Oops, my bad, guys. <laughs> I accidentally went to the. E I went to went to go to online. Went to the eShop. I fe I fear your I fear your stage selection. Oh, yeah, because you're gonna pick like a bunch of casual stages and all this garbage. Yeah. How's the audio, guys? How's the audio and volume? Everything okay? I have the wrong stages picked and cannot remember which one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I make it to where now I, I don't let you guys pick the stages. I just pick a bunch of tournament legal stages and then it just picks a stage on random. That's that's what I do now. Alright, let's go. Joker Joker Elite Smash Battle. Flat stage? Keep on. Down smash. Eat 
attacked. Oh, I got Arsene? Okay, I, I get I get lost on which one I am. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Cause the colors are so close! I got totally mixed up on which one I was. Oh, what the hell? That didn't reach? Oh, Grab. Oh, nice, nice read. Which one am I? Okay, I'm over here. Oh, come on, the back air. Dude, that back air hit me above him like that? My friend code is, uh, okay, you have to work overnight, so I'll have to let you know when I'm on. Okay. Do I prefer Omega or Battlefield? I prefer, I prefer, uh, Battlefield, or Battlefield layout. Uh, I don't know if I want to rematch this guy, because the color is too similar. Let me get, let me get this friend code put in, though. Uh, Gunslinger, I'm not going to be able to do, uh, user matches. Because I've got to stop playing in like less than 30 minutes. Because I'm going to take a little bit of a, a break before the spawn cast. But we are going to do user matches uh, either tomorrow or Monday. So yeah, I don't have much time to play. I just wanted to do something till till 5 o'clock. I like Omega way more than Battlefield. I like Battlefield a little bit more with platforms. To be honest, like the flat stage is just not as fun to me. I don't know. And some characters are way too good with Omega. Like some like some characters, like projectile based characters, are way too good with like all Omega. It's just like you don't have like they can just sit there and spam. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Seven seven six four four. One there's no spaces in between. One five five four. One five five four. Five four. Five four. Zero, nine. All right, there you go. I missed, I missed like one of the fours or the fives or something like that. All right, there you go. We got you, Dustin. But yeah, like you ever fought against, you ever fought against a, um, you ever fought against a, what's it called? A, <laughs> uh, a Samus player on Battlefield? 
<laughs> you ever fought against a Samus player on Battlefield and just feeling oh, like, uh, like a Simon or a Belmont? Uh, one of the Belmonts on Battlefield? Yeah, I, I like Kalos exactly. Give me Kalos where, like the platforms, you don't have one in the direct center. So that doesn't, so you can't have those cheesy Charizard or Bowser kills at the top of the, 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 the top platform. You know, but give me like a Kalos or give me like a Pokemon League where you have two platforms off to the side and then nothing in the center. That's my favorite. Because you don't get those cheesy kills where people just grab you then platform bomb you. And even if they do platform bomb you, it's not as high up. That top platform just kind of screws with people. But, I mean, if I had my option, I guess it'd be it'd be that more so than anything. I wish that was, I wish that was like, their own name. Like, you have Omega, you have a Battlefield layout. Then I wish that you had, like, a Kalos or whatever. You have, like, a two-platform layout that you can do for all stages as well. So, I wish they had that, too. That should have been something that they added in, you know? Game volume can be a bit louder. Okay. How's this? Uh, let's get somebody else to Elite Smash right now, though. While I have some time. Um, I need to. That's too much work. I'm gonna die too much with Diddy Kong. Got stuff to unload your new. Oh, congratulations on your new house, Gunslinger. Nice. Hey, who's got tech? Who's got corn tech for me? How do you use this character? I don't know. Oh, nice. didn't go that counter's not coming out it's just not coming out yeah dude nothing's coming out
Oh. Yeah, dude. idea the nair it pops them up hey good job going out there and gipping him oh by the way you help him recover Short hops, but he's full hops. Oh, I got punished for simply just doing a. a, a, a him into pressing a button.
that range. He's been attacking every time in those situations, and he's just not attacking. Why can't I play corn? What's wrong with why what's wrong with playing corn? I like fire emblem. Corn for the win, baby. Corn for the win, baby. Oh fraud! 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 Freaking leaves after he loses one? Come on, man! Finish the set! Finish the set! Three, two, oh, one, Fire Emblem Battle. Counter that. Oh god! Oh god! I accidentally pressed the button. My bad, my bad. I can counter that. He got my he got my recovery. That SD really came. Now I gotta put in some roll work against this dude. He's not very good, but now I gotta put in some work against him. Oh, I was just late. Nothing's coming out! Oh god, dude, bro! He's smashing away, dude. I do I thought he was gonna go low so not lose to this guy Anything to chase. this guy's probably gonna leave he's probably gonna I don't think he's gonna play another game I don't know how I lost to that guy but I did my SD wasn't good should have been a two stock on my end he's probably gonna leave though he's not gonna oh, oh is he gonna stay oh he's gonna stay oh wow okay I didn't think he was gonna stay This is my this is my rules now. I wonder what his rules is though. Okay. 
Yeah, he just... He just... Anytime he misses an attack, he'll do a dodge roll. Smash. It's a raw forward smash. Jesus Christ. so early me off with that last Is OP? Yeah, cool. <laughs> dude, dude, hey, dude, uh, VC, man. I don't know if you saw, but, like, I was fighting against this Cloud player, and I went down to Gimp him, and it would have been match over with 99% of characters in this game. But Corn is the character. I went down there, did a nair. This literally popped Cloud all the way back on top to recover. He didn't even have to regular recover. See, look, he left. As soon as, he, as, soon as they get a loss, leave. Anyway. Dude didn't even have to freaking jump back up for recovery. Dude, literally, I popped him back. The, the worst nair. Dude, this nair. It pops him up. He was down here. He was down here in this zone. All the way down there. I hit him with the nair and pops Cloud all the way back up for recovery. Three, two, one, That's dumb. Okay, this guy's just, he's kamikaze. He's just out here. Yeah. He, what the hell? Why'd the grab miss? Yeah, this guy's, this guy's, this guy's, you know how Roy players are. Roy players are mildly insane. Bro. 
Players are actually mildly insane. It went right through my kick. Corn is horrible. God. Oh my, that was a smash attack. Oh God, corn is, there's things about corn that make me really mad. Like that. Got immensely buffed from C tier to B, B, B tier? That was this character? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess, dude. I guess. I don't know if I can consider this a B. I mean, yeah, I can see why, yeah, B tier. But, dude, there's too many. Like, her fair pops people up. It doesn't kill. Her nair pops people up. It's like, it's like I don't need combo stuff. I need, like, I, no, combos are great. But like, if you're off stage, I need your fares and nares to put them in a worse spot, not to pop them into place. Because that's what I've noticed with their fare and their nair, it pops them up. Why? I don't want to pop anybody up. Also priority. Yeah, up air kills. Yeah, I know up air. That's not. Oh, it buffered an air dodge. I was just trying to mash out. The online tier list. DDD is high up on the online tier list. And there's, there's frame. Hey, this connection. Why go edge guard him? Why go edge guard him? It's not gonna kill him.
Okay, he's running up and grabbing. Just got a slip dodge. Yo, the lag's coming through. Lag boy's coming through. Lag. Oh, God. Come on. I ain't playing a DDD if there's not lag. adjust to the freaking lag set to adjust I just had to adjust to the lag just for a little bit now nah, we ain't now nah, we ain't playing you again this guy's got all his wins he's got all his wins based on lag being ddd and online lag but i was down three one on that one guys you, you know he was up three one three to one stocks still came back and won it was garbage. When I and then when I tell you guys if I lose sometimes I say this dude's garbage, it's because they just because it's online. If I can adjust fast enough, I can get the W. It shouldn't have even been a comeback though. I should have just bodied that dude like I bought him in the last three stocks. Like he got I think he only put like what? Like 60-70% on me? In that last three stocks? It should have never even been that close in the first place. To me, that's not a comeback. That's just me winning. I was supposed to win. Oh god. Snake. Get to the snake. Get hit no matter what. Oh my god, dude! He remembered! We see up air kills? What kills? Up air, you said, right? There you go. Thank you. Thank you, VC. I think I remember you saying up air kills. Oh god, it was right. I didn't see it. Oh god. 
Oh, oh, I have, oh, I have another stock left. Okay. I thought I was dead. Getting punished way too many on those. Let's go! Let's go! Even with that spike, let's go! Let's go! Just gotta, just gotta whole block at times. Horchata! Hispanic drink. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I was just, I, I had to just adjust to the lag of that, that DDD, just had to adjust to the lag of the DDD. Okay, flat, he wants a flat stage, that's what he wants. Oh, nice beat reversal. this let's go That was stupid, I should've just backed away. Oh god, dude! I didn't think he'd go that low. Nice, nice games by him, nice games. Good games, good games, good spike. Alright, I'll get him this time. I'll get him this time. I was only at 14%? Yeah, that's true. It's a spike. 
That's how spikes work. We'll see who we'll see who wins the set right here. That was kind of that was kind of bopping him for the first the first set or the first stock. I got a good stock. The second one I got to him to like 40 something. Then he just kind of made a comeback on that because I tried to do a reverse pivot. If I really did the reverse pivot and got him, that would have killed him. Then he would have only been down to one stock. So. Kill! I should kill! He's at one... I, I... I didn't do the whole string of that. Grab you, then that it still hits you up. There's no grab armor on that. Okay, I didn't know. Checked out. It's a god. It's a reverse pit. Let's 
go. You freaking stuck me, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, as soon as I didn't see that freaking thing on the bottom, I was like, oh snap, it's on me! I saw the freaking flashing light, I was like, no! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> good games, dude, good games, good games, good games. Alright, I gotta stop it right here, I gotta get ready for the spawn cast pretty soon here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know how I got. I think I, I think you can block it or you can air dodge the grenade blowing. I, I'm not really sure. Either way, almost at elite. Didn't get corn to elite smash because I lost a couple stupid matches, but it's all good. Next time, I think it's 4.5 million or something like that for elite smash. Stupid inklings in elite smash done nothing with inkling. Either way, shoutouts guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the spawn cast, spawn wave later today, or in about like 45 minutes, a little bit less than that. All right, peace, guys.